If you ever had a second chance You better be thankful If you ever had a second time around Man, I've been through it, I lost out and I faced what defines wrong Feel no hope, bad thoughts choosing to die, go home When I was sitting up on that gray hill, my mind went through these zones Like you got none, lost everything, it's no good feeling alone Hey, pockets had no dollars, life didn't make sense How did I end up back where I started, what did I miss? I went from condos to pops house, on calls, now bus routes And the one person who had the key to my heart took it in check what up what up it's your boy paul p i serve god i'm not god this is just my opinion and welcome to episode two of castle culture we got everybody in the building the one and only the queen emirati was popping hey, hey, hey. no tagline <laughs> but i'm here yeah 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 yes, yeah Emirati's in the building yeah yeah you know just uh here trying to make it you know me okay D different hairdo different hairdo yep oh i'm always going to have a different hairdo. <laughs> so i can literally wear a different hair every day of the week That's yeah how many i feel you. I, I feel you i feel you we also got jy <laughs> in the building what's popping jy one more baby always looking good smelling good and feeling good every day <laughs> all day yeah 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 we are all here we are all here we back hey. episode two man yeah episode one, episode one hit though let's yeah. get it it went you know what i'm saying yeah. you know it was live you know it yeah. nobody was holding back mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. every, every everybody was you know you had something to say you had something to say yeah. you know what i'm saying so we show people how we holding it down you know <laughs> but i mean it's only been a couple of days but you know uh, uh since the last time you were here how's everything been oh everything's been good um you know just uh like i said trying to stay black and stay alive <laughs> you know what i mean um, that's a you fact. Know, chasing the kids around and chasing niggas around. You know how it is. <laughs> you got a hubby and you saying chasing. Well, you why, why, chase why, why, why you doing like that? You, you know how it is. We're gonna, you we know gonna know how bring them. We're gonna, we're gonna bring them yeah, one exactly. day. We, we got. <laughs> would you bring them to Castle Coaching? Would you? Yeah, uh, we'll see. He's, <laughs> he's a man of few words, so he don't. <laughs> He don't need all this pressure on him. You know? I just want to see how you act. Doing. I just want to see. What, I just want to see <laughs> no, you. No, I have to act sweet, so that ain't gonna work. <laughs> That's comedy. No, all right, all right. What about you, Jay? Why? What's up, man? What's you know, going on? shit. I'm doing good. You know, uh, a midget once told me life is too short, so live like like Shaq. <laughs> Live life like Shaq and do it big. You feel me? So every day I try to be out here having fun. You know what I'm saying? Nah, That's how it goes, baby. I feel Gotta you. live life. I feel you on that. Uh -huh. I feel you on that. Uh -huh. You know, hey, Midget hey, it's advice. a grind. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now nah, I feel you, bro. You know, when it come down to me, hey, every day is a grind. You keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I love that we here. You know, I always say this is like when I'm sitting at this table, I feel probably the freest I ever feel. You know, because, you know, in the everyday grind, you grinding, trying to make something happen up till three, four in the morning, still working and still grinding. Right. But when we here, it's relaxed. You know, this what I'm is saying? relaxing for me, for <laughs> me, it, for me, it is. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm because I'm never sitting down. Yeah. So for me, yeah. this is relaxing, you know, chilling with the, you know, people that you love to kick it with, hang out with and everything like that. So for me, it is. You feel me? Yeah. Even if we are going, it's just, hey, we got to be real. We black. So we're, even when we at home with family, we going back and forth about exactly. something. So that's 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 just fam right there. You feel what I'm exactly. saying? You know. So that's the way it is. You know. But people people may be watching right now. Like, what is this big old black box that they got on the table? What, what, what's hidden up in this box? What is it? What's going on right now? So you know, I'm gonna reveal what's in this box, and then I'm gonna explain a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go on and open the box up. Can we get a drum roll? Can we get a drum roll? It should be on your Can thing. Can we get a drum roll? Yeah, I know, I gotta get that. I gotta oh, get that. Come on, JY. What the hell? He too cool. <laughs> ah. Woo! Look at all this from my baby. Too. No. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. They got to You got to scoot it back that way so they can see all this. People like. Uh, Put it, uh, you got on, put it on the uh, full screen, uh, Francis, so you know everybody can see what's going on right here, you know, and I'll uh, point it up to the camera a little bit. So as you can see, we got some roses, you know, and um, Aww. you know, I, I just want to shout out, you know, to Rose Forever, you know what I'm saying, uh, Marina, who um, you know, uh, is a is a big part of that business, Rose Forever, you know, and um, if you ever want some roses, you could go to uh, roseforever.com. 
And um, I'm shouting them out because, you know, just to be real with you, we get all type of sponsors that, you know, come to the email. Hey, if you do this, you could get this much percentage off or, you know, if you promote this, you know, uh, uh, if people purchase it, you'll get uh, this percentage out of it and everything like that. You know, we get things like that all the time. But what made me um, want to connect and link with them is that they were persistent. They were persistent, and they was like, look, we'll, sh- we'll ship you this, we'll send you this. I'm like, send it, whatever. And they sent it. So I'm like, you know what? For them to go through all of that and really send it out, like I looked at the price of this. You know how much, yeah, y'all know how much Bro, this is? This is expensive. Yeah, I, I, I'm, how much y'all think this is? You know, you A know, beautiful what, what you think? bouquet of 24 like this, or maybe even 36, uh, probably 100 plus dollars. Okay, okay, what you think, bro? About like 120, 130. Yeah, you got to look at the way it's, you know, made yeah, and everything like this. This is almost okay. 300. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. And yeah. They, and they just sent it to us. You get That's what I'm saying? Cool. Right. You know, for one, they respect the platform and everything like yes. that and they really wanted to work with us. So, I was like, "You know what, man? We we, we got to take yeah. that next step with them and work with them." You know what I'm and saying? Rose forever it matches a little bit, you know, a little bit yeah. off, but it, you know, Nothing but love, man, to them for uh, you know that. sending it, and I and I see how it look in the screen. You can show uh, yeah. sh- uh, uh show the camera on me again, Francis, so we can see if they can see it up closer. The beautiful from my camera. Now the good question is, which beautiful lady in your life will be receiving this box tonight? <laughs> That's not what we here to talk about right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes out, of, you know. This, well, I mean, this, hey, somebody got to get them. <laughs> That's that's not the I conversation mean. that we having at this point in time right now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Is, want to you put know? you on blast. But, oh, no. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> hey, hey. Jeez. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But, man, shout out to them again. You know, uh, number love. So, going forward, when you see their uh, sponsorship tag, you know, um, on the videos and everything like that, you know, you know, uh, we rock with them. You know, they rock with us. They showed how much they rocking with us. So, we rocking with them. So, again, shout out to Marina uh, from Rose Forever. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Again, Marina from Rose Fever, thank you so much. I let I hopefully y'all watching because I did let y'all know that we was gonna be shouting y'all today. So again, thank you. We appreciate you know y'all, and we're gonna leave it up. You yeah, wanna leave, leave it up here. the whole the whole we show? Leave it up. All right, yeah, cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna leave it up the whole show. You know to represent and everything like that. Definitely, definitely. So uh, so uh, uh I don't know if um. Everybody saw it that's uh, here watching today, but, um, you know, just uh, recently we got a couple of announcements, you know, and everything like that. We, we have, a, we have a, a big guest coming next week, but we'll reveal that later. You know, we'll give you all that later. But I don't know if y'all saw the interview um, that I just did with uh, Quincy Reese Sr., you know, who was the father of Quincy Reese Jr., who was, um, you know, murdered tragically on June 10th, you know, um, after a party, you know, he was a high school basketball star, only 16 at Crenshaw High School, Mm -hmm. you know, and um, we actually in the past talked about, you know, this whole situation. You you was there, bro. Yeah, yeah. We talked about it and everything, you know. Was you 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 present too at that time? I was there, yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, we actually talked about it and everything and um, I'm really, really passionate about, you know, our community, you know, and everything like that, you know. So when you're passionate, sometimes you say certain things that you're not really thinking about you know um and everything you just really passionate and you want to see things you know somewhat come to an end or or us figure out ways on how we could get through these type of things so i said some things some things that i would still say today that i think that we could work on when it come to our community and when it come to changing our community we could work on but one thing sometimes you don't take into account that on the other side of it Mm. is someone who is listening that is connected to that individual that you're talking about that may take it differently yeah. than the way you're trying to explain it. And, you know, um, that's the way that whole situation happened. But I was thankful and blessed that, you know, after a, a short conversation between me and Quincy Reese Sr., you know, he came down to the podcast, you know, and um, mm. while he was here, we got to have a really good talk. You know, y'all can see it up. It's up right now, the entire interview, you know, so uh, go to the, you know, the main channel and look for that interview is right at the top. It was a great, probably the most important interview I've ever had on this podcast, ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, in fact, because of the community that we come from, I would love to do more interviews mm. like that, love that to give those uh, parents and individuals a platform. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, because he was really appreciative and I was too. 
you know, but I did also apologize, you know, for the clip that I put out, you know, um, and, and, and the clip that he really wasn't liking with the things that I said in that clip, you know, um, I, I, I let him know that I wasn't really saying anything against him as a father, but I was saying as parents, parents, uncles, you know, uh, uh, brothers, cousins, everyone needs to step up and trying to like bridge this gap and figure it out when it come down to us losing so many young individuals in the streets, right? Mm. But I wanna read something real quick, you know. Um, this is very, very important, you know, and I, you know, uh, this is what I thought about, you know, when um, Quincy Reese Sr., you know, was here, you know, uh, it's a couple of verses. The first one is, um, you should acknowledge that sin and ask God for forgiveness, Psalms 32, one through five. Pray and ask the Lord to reveal if there's anything else you need to apologize for. Psalms 139, 23 through 24. Also ask him to give you empathy and compassion for the person you've hurt. Romans 12, 15. Um, me being an individual that's about my faith and, and for my faith and, you know, a, a person who is a vessel for God and everything like that. I thought that it was important for me to apologize no matter what I felt. Yeah. I could feel I could have felt like, you know what, I didn't mean that towards him. You know, I wasn't saying nothing that I feel was wrong. Yeah. So why do I gotta apologize? But I was like, nah, that ain't the way you should think. You gotta put yourself in that person's position in that person's shoes. This is a father who lost a son. Yeah. He lost his son. Mm -hmm. You know, um me, y'all y'all two have kids. I don't I don't have kids at this present time. You know what I'm saying? So I could never understand what it is. For a person, not just to have kids, but to lose a son. Mm -hmm. So I had to understand that part and say, nah, no matter what, if he feel you was wrong, you was wrong. Mm -hmm. No matter what, no matter what you said, you know what I'm saying? I can sit there all day and say, I didn't mean nothing wrong. My heart was in the right place because my heart is always in the right place when it comes down to situations like this. Because like I said, I'm passionate about the community. But if he felt that I was wrong with what I said, I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? I got I got to bite that one. You know that it is what it is. You know, uh, but I do appreciate that he accepted my apology. Mm, um, okay. You know, and um, yeah, we had a really good talk, and I and I can sit here and say that um, me and Quincy Reese Senior is friends now. You know, a really good, good dude. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it, it went great. Um, you know, we're gonna definitely collab more in the future. You know, he's doing some things. You know. Uh, uh, for his son business wise and, and, and he uh, putting together some foundations and everything like that and we gonna rock with him I said hey let us know we're there mm -hmm. no matter what it is you need a platform you this is your platform too yeah. no matter what you know and if you listening right now Quincy I want to let you know I don't care what it is when it come down to this podcast we got your back mm -hmm. you know yes. what I'm saying we here yes. for anything so please you know continue to connect with us reach out um, and I appreciate wholeheartedly that you came because you didn't have to he didn't have to come down right. he could have said man flick, you know what i'm saying right you know and i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty sure that a lot of people in the community was probably looking at me kind of crazy they were the you know I, I know we saw the comments well, yeah you know what i'm saying and you know what i'll, I'll take that look i'm not i'm yeah. not i'm not perfect and just to be real in in in, in my position a lot of times it's very difficult when you have to be a person in a position to where you have to give your opinion. You know, uh, people are listening to things that you are saying. You have a platform where people are listening. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be a leader because you also run situations outside of here that people are looking at you and paying attention to you. Mm -hmm. You have to be aware of those things. You got to know when to apologize. You got to know when, you know what, I was wrong and accept that accountability and responsibility. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and let go of the ego mm -hmm. and pride. Do I got ego and pride? Hell yeah, <laughs> I do. I'm, I'll admit it. You know what I'm saying? Do I need to work on it? Hell yeah, <laughs> I do. I admit it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I know my heart is always in the right place, and I want to see us grow together as a community. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know. So I'm man enough to sit here and say that today. And um, you know, as long as he accepted my apology, you know what I'm saying? Hey. It is what it is with everyone else, but I hope that, you know, uh, we can all come together and continue to build because that's what we're here to do on the Nothing to Something podcast. You know what I'm saying? So anything y'all want to say about the situation? No, I, I love that you that, that's that been mended. 
and you know rest in peace to Quincy Jr. still it's a tragedy and I'm glad that we you know you can make it right for him and you guys have an yeah. understanding that can come to a friendship that's great yeah yeah I mean it, fe- it felt good yeah. it felt really good that's you know because yeah. I'm not gonna just to be real and break it down when I first saw the comments because I didn't see the comments at first you know I I, I put stuff up and there and or we have people who put stuff up and I just go on to the next mm-hmm. so those comments was up there for a month before I even knew that they was up there. Right. Because remember when I told you, bro, he's like, I didn't see that. I didn't know that that stuff was up there, you know? And nobody told me anything, you know? Until just to be real, you know, uh, Swag, he told me like, hey, man, you probably want to go read those comments. And when I read it, I was like, what? I was shocked. You know, for one, I didn't know that people were watching on that level. Yeah. You know, you never know because you put stuff up, you get – Feedback yeah, a little bit here and there. They don't say nothing. But you know, you got ghost yeah. watchers, you know, oh, and everything like that. You know, all people day. just don't want to really say they watch it. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. We still love you all. You know, I know y'all don't want to admit, all you know, day. I and it's okay when they go to a, a million subscribers and now we popping and everybody now it's going to be cool to say we we're watching the Nothing Something podcast. So it's all good. It's all good, you know. But I didn't see that coming, you know. But you know, one thing that I found out though, you know what Quincy Reese Sr. said? What? He said, bro, we've been watching this podcast. Oh, that's what's up. Okay. We've been watching this podcast. It's like January. Yeah, he said okay. him and his son. Oh, wow. Was watching a podcast. That wow. touched me. Wow. Oh. I'm like, for real? Wow. I, you never know, man, who's watching at all. You exactly. never know. But when he said that, I was like, wow. That That's, that's. You know, he listening to, to, to me say something that affected him. It probably really hit him even more because he's like, man, I watch... I watch him. I rock with him, mm-hmm. you know. So that's why I, I, I'm thankful and I respect him for coming and sitting at this table, you know. But um, but yeah, you know, when I saw that, I don't want I don't want that type of energy here, because this is for the community. So when I saw that, I went to correct that immediately. I went right in his inbox. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, Quincy. Hey, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, hey, right can thing. we talk? You know, yeah. whatever. You know, I don't I don't want that type of energy out there. Yeah. You know, and it took a while to get here, but we got here. You know, so. Hey, yeah. it's all good, you know. You had anything yeah. to say, bro? I mean, yeah. Uh, well, shout out to Quincy, by the way, you yeah, know what I'm saying, for coming through, man. Yeah, shout out to talk. Quincy because that's what it's all about, us in L.A., all coming together, sticking together, riding for each other. I don't know about the dying for each other, but <laughs> I say. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, man, all, all of us connected, man, and, um, and, and trying to make a change. That's what it's all about, you feel me? Uh, you know, because, you know, for us, you know, being born and raised out here in these streets, you know what I'm saying, we know how to – we got it. We got an idea on how to make things work to make a better place. You feel me? So, shout out to Quincy for coming through, uh, and and much love, man. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh-huh. You know, um, uh, before we move past, uh, go to the next, you know, thing. You know, everybody, anything else to say about it? You know, uh, last thing I will say. Hey, again, Quincy, man, I hope you're watching. You know, no matter what, though, this is your home as well. You know what I'm saying? And to be real, anybody who is in a community, got a story to tell and, and everything, know that this is this is the home base. You see a lot of these other podcasts that are out here in L.A. and everything like that, you know, uh, um, they don't do it the way we do it here. This is really for the community. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know? So that's why I always say, hey, if you got a story, you got something you want to talk about, you, you, you got something that you've been through, whatever, DM us. DM us. You know, we want to bring you, you know, to this platform, man, you know, because this is for all of us, you know. So, um, so, all right, let's uh, go to, um, you know, move on. So, um, y'all want to go on and reveal the special guest that we got coming? Why not? Y'all, y'all want to do Which one? Well, so. <laughs> y'all do it. <laughs> the, the special guest that we got coming on Tuesday. Or do, you, do y'all want to reveal that? Y'all want to let them know now or are we going to wait? Why what you got to let them know? Let them know now. You let them know now. Let them know now, so people would know. So if he cop out, man, right. that's it. It's Everybody know. Like, <laughs> oh no, we can't. I'm not gonna say why, but he can't cop out. That yeah. ain't happening. Yeah. But next week on Tuesday, we got the one and only, the bro, Crip Mac coming. Yeah. Crip Mac will be here on Cancel Culture okay. to sit down with us, and uh, you know, yeah. hey, just chop it up I and everything like he, that. Is you know, he a Crip. Uh, he's a five five quit. <laughs> okay. right, you know what I'm saying? You know, so we'll I'm let gonna, him tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll let, yeah, he's very vocal. 
So he so will which, let which he one will is let that you know face right side? there. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one he had he had some, you know, we actually we got to ask him about that because he has some issues I guess with blue face, but uh, you know, they made up it looked like because we saw him on the video shaking hands but then he <laughs> said something about him after saying i don't know what's going on. we'll let him talk for himself yeah, yeah. Yo. you know what i'm saying Facts. but i yeah. think this will be the right type of table to uh bring crip mac to because um i did two interviews with crip mac you know i you know we always transparent here we tell the truth we don't we don't hold nothing back right right so i would say you know the first interview i had with him was uh basically you know uh presenting the the fight between him and bosco that never happened you know, I'm sorry, I gotta uh, give y'all a, because this fight never happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying. So, so maybe you know, Krimak a little bit could speak on that. I don't know, but uh, you know, that fight never happened. And then the second interview was uh with me and the bro. Um, it didn't go the greatest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, we be real. We keep it real. You know. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, I could have put out that whole interview and, hey. If I was trying to go viral and everything like that, I could have did that. But at the end of the day, when it come down to me, I don't be trying to make anybody look bad. You know what I'm saying? You know, so when it's all said and done, man, um, I, I, I'm glad that he's coming back okay. because, you know, he going to come to the table with all of us and we're going to have fun. That's what that's what it's going to be about when he come on Tuesday. We're going to have some fun. You know, we're going to ask him some questions. We're going to talk about some stuff. We got the, the queen with us at the table. Yeah. So you know, you know, she she may have some things. Out my skills. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing we know is Crip Mac likes to sit at the table with his girl at the table too, and everything like that. So, hey, you know, maybe a totally different energy. You know, but um, but yeah, that's the special guest that we got coming Tuesday. So, hey, y'all better be here. Don't be late. You know, uh, okay. and it's gonna be live. Okay. You know, cool. so so yeah, that's who we got coming on Tuesday. I've been uh, pulling out my interview skills. Okay. 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 Of course. You, you uh, try it out. Try it out. I don't need to try it out. I've been doing this for Wait, years. ask me something. Come on. I'm right okay, here. Okay, so Paul, you started the Nothing to Something podcast. So yes, ma'am. We know you are an advocate for the community. Yes, ma'am. What would you think is the most important um aspect of this podcast and what you give to the people? Mm, most important <laughs> aspect. Can you can you can you break that down well, and ask that to me a little the, bit differently? Because uh, uh, it, 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 I, I need you to break it more down in ebotics oh, terms. I mean, well, you, you know, know? When, you, when you interview as a journalist, you have to be professional. So uh, well, I, well, I'm, not, I'm a nigga, nigga. I'm a nigga, nigga. So give it to me okay, like a nigga, nigga. So what y'all niggas teaching niggas out here? Like, what are y'all even doing? Like, we can switch it up. Okay, okay. I see how you come. You know, I get it. I see it. Okay. Professional yeah, and yeah. ghetto at the same time. Yeah, know? yeah. But no, real talk, what people may not know is that you, you've been doing this for a while, yeah, though. Yes. You know? I, I want people. I'm a professional. Yeah, yeah. Real talk. <laughs> I, I want people to know that, you know, uh, Amarachi, the queen, she's not just here just to be here. You oh, know, she's yeah. not just just here because, oh, we was cool. No, no, no. I, I She have experience when it come down to, you know, having that mic in her hand and, and communicating and talking and interviews and everything like that. You know, so she earned her spot. So she oh, here for you. a real reason. Oh, can I get a round, you know what I'm saying? Well, we got applause. you. We got you. Baby, make we that got you. Clap. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it to the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, y'all like, great. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank yeah, yeah. Real talk, real talk. But anything to say about Crip Mac coming, bro? She's a <laughs> Crip Mac, man. Uh, I guess we're going to see him on Tuesday. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the last time we had the interview, uh, sitting at the table, you know, I guess it was some <laughs> some of the questions that I was asking him, I guess he felt kind of offended about that. Oh, you know damn. what I'm saying? Yeah, he felt offended. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, I was just asking questions that everybody was asking me what they was <laughs> curious about. You know what I'm saying? So, I was just keeping it 100, like, hey, this is something that everybody kind of curious about, bro. Tell me what you think about it. So, right. you know what I'm saying? I, you know, that's something that he could have just understood, you know, because I'm pretty sure he hear that question all the time himself anyway, everywhere he goes. You know, yeah. but uh, other than that, I mean, we'll see what's up Tuesday. You feel me? We're going to have some fun. So, yeah, I can't wait for it. You know, still shout out to Crib Mac for coming through. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, now nah, it's gonna be great. To it's gonna yeah. be great. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a, a a lot of fun. You know who knows? We may have roses at the table, whatever. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Pause. Not for him. We got, we're gonna have some blue rags him, at the it's table. Rep it's representing. Oh, it's you know say. what I'm saying? And <laughs> hey, you know it's so crazy. I got like a button up that you know what I'm saying with the uh, you know uh, somebody just gave it to me. It's like a button up with the uh, 
the bandanas. Oh, the bandana. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going to come crypt out now. Hey, we're going to be crypt like out on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, wow. I ain't coming. Oh, but look, my new cup. You didn't even notice I got a new cup. Okay. Guess what color it is? Turquoise. Blue, crit back. Uh, oh, okay. I can, that means I you gotta really wear. See it like that. Okay, okay, okay. You I, know, I, I usually see, got okay. the purple yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that means you gotta wear blue too on Tuesday. Okay, I'm yeah. blue oh, out. Oh, you blue, blue it out? out. Hey. <laughs> I, I, I don't really rock it's blue like that, but I'll see what I got in the closet. I don't, I don't really buy it <laughs> clothing, to be honest. I really don't, you know, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. we'll see what I got in the closet. Yeah, my favorite color, red. Always yeah, been red. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nah, I feel but you. We'll that. see. I'll try don't to put something red together. On Tuesday, yeah. my nigga. <laughs> 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 That's a big color that day. <laughs> nah, real talk, real talk. But um, all right, y'all ready to buzz down some of these topics? Yes. Tatiana, let's buzz, buzz down. Hey. Buzz down, Daddy. Are y'all ready to do it? <laughs> all right, so you know, um, the direction that we're going to go in first today is, uh, you know, Joe Budden responded to Drake. Oh, gosh. Did y'all hear about that? We're back on them. It ha it, it, it's, it's, the, it's what's being talked he about right now. now. Is he responded. You know, look, look, the response was so, like, anticipated by people. <laughs> the dude put it on Patreon and oh. didn't, you know, put it out on a regular televised, you know, uh, station they have it on. They put it on Patreon, so you got to go and purchase and watch it <laughs> <laughs> first before it fully comes out. Oh, yeah. Because everybody was waiting right. to see his response. Right. You get what I'm saying? You know, and one thing I do want to say before I go into it, one thing that you was wrong about, bro, because you said nobody listening to Joe Budden and nobody is going to, take what Joe Budden say and uh, uh, say like, oh, okay, yeah, he right or whatever. You was wrong about that. Academics and a lot of other people came out and said, no, Joe was right. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear what Charlemagne said, though, on Breakfast Club? About what? He felt like, you know, in that situation, he felt like it was kind of a hating move because he's saying like, oh, Drake, everybody looking at him, how he's rising, on the rise right now, where, you know, people kind of feel some type of way about that. They hate looking at him, seeing him going up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He kind of gave his opinion like that. Charlamagne. No, he club. wasn't saying Joe Budden you know? was hating for his opinion. You know, he didn't say that. Because I, I, I saw the whole thing with, when him and DJ, DJ Envy was talking about bro, it. Bro, that was dope. He I like that. He didn't. He didn't say. No, I'm <laughs> just doing this morning. All this morning. Oh, bro, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I person, I did it again. But I'm just saying. But I'm just saying. This is. This is just. The majority of the industry agree with Joe. That's all. And this is. This is a fact. Yeah, okay. You know, the majority yeah. of the industry. I didn't. In fact, I didn't really. Charlamagne said this. Is what he he said he didn't he didn't really like it either. So, but no matter no, what he said, he said it was good. You know, nah. like, they were like, "What was bad about the album?" I liked it. That's what uh, DJ Envy said. I'm like, "What was bad about it?" I liked it. And Charlamagne was like, "He was like, yeah, I don't understand." And then they went. That's when they went off, just talking about just as far as like, you know what? But hey, Drake is on the rise, so some people might feel some type of way. He's, uh, but they said that, that it wasn't in. a classic as well. That's all I'm saying. So the only thing that Joe was really saying was that it wasn't his best body of work. And which it really is. If you look at all of the um the features on it, it's it's a very, very young I don't know, to yeah, me, yeah, I didn't young like thugs, it. what Snoop Dogg voices on it, young. No, thug, it, I mean, no, it's not a like you listen to nothing was the same in some of his other other body of work. It's just people who's gonna is gonna bring that, you know, classical moment. You like like let's let's Drake is in a, on a um in a position like a Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you got Michael Jackson on the album, you expect it every time he put it out to be great. Yeah. Not even Jay-Z, every saying? album he put out was great. So it's like you can't really say like Jay-Z never Jay-Z never had an album that was subpar though. I can't I can't say I can't think of an album that Jay-Z put out that was like, ah, that was that wasn't that good. I don't, I can't I can't think of any. But let's go on go on into uh <laughs> I, I really can't. Unless you can name name one, name one. But I can't think what of was, one. Oh, I'm not really but, a Jay-Z uh, fan like that. Yeah. But let's go into yeah. um what the conversation that Joe had with his crew about uh this uh topic right here. So um Joe Budden reads DMs from Drake following for all the dogs back and forth. So uh Joe Budden used the la the latest episode of this of his the Joe Budden podcast to respond to Drake's recent rant against him, which stemmed from Budden's critique on his latest album for all the dogs. In the Patreon exclusive episode, Budden Reads allowed direct messages Drake sent him after their public back and forth online, according to a clip shared by the Neighborhood Talk. After telling Joe to pick up a pen and start rapping again, he consciously adds, a little radio play would do you some good, Papa. Budden went on to say he has no desire to beef with the Toronto kid and is happier than he's ever been. I don't even understand. I don't even get the message. 
he said out of confusion over Drake's passive aggressiveness. Joe then read his own reply to Drake. I'm not sure why you went crazy like that. I like the album. This ain't 2016. I got no beef. But get your shit off, dog. Matter of fact, no one is happier for you than me. He then reads another note from Drizzy. You bringing up my friends and the bees I mess with like you know anything about that. This prompts Joey to reveal a subtle smirk and mention uh, best of bro Eskimo. The term Eskimo brothers refer to two men who have slept with the same woman. Keep in music, Drake continued. I don't give a F what you listen to in your free time because of the people opinion I care about don't have free time. See still it's another jab, but it noted. Why do he feel the need? Not only do you not have to do this right now, but it don't work on me. I don't know if people know this about me, but this doesn't work on me, but it's fine. But it continues to read from Drake. I also don't care if you like of dis. I don't care if you like of dislike something, but don't talk about my life and shit like you trying to plant some seed or paint some narrative and turn people against me. Talk about the music. If you hate it, you hate it. But if you're talking about you out of here, elf and 25 year old kids, <laughs> But and then skip some lines he deems personal before resuming. That that shit feels malicious to me, and I don't do well with that. Your nerd co-host can sit and talk about gangster this and gangster that, but you know how we get down. So keep it journalist, bro. Um, yeah, and that's about uh oh one last thing. But his initial critique of the album centered on his theme feeling immature for an artist of Drake's age and experience, suggesting the rapper hang with people his own age and stop messing with 25 year olds resulting in drizzy going out in the retired rapper via dj academics instagram post all right we'll uh we'll leave it there but um i don't know to me it seemed like like i said uh i'll let you uh you know you you could go emirachi but <laughs> are, are you who, who want to no, go ahead but, I'm how she but i but i just <laughs> but i but i just say this to 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 me you i, I could tell that it, it caught him all the way off guard he responded now he yeah. gotta respond yeah. but to me it seemed like he got caught all the way off guard because he also said that Drake DM'd him, some personal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, if you read what Drake, he DM'd him too. So he took it. He taking it like, bro, this is about the music. You getting personal and everything like yeah. that. You know. But uh, you know what you got to say about this whole yeah. situation? Wow, I'm surprised this situation was even that triggering. But I guess, yeah. Yeah, like we said last time, with Joe's platform and the podcast realm and everybody actually like paying attention to his what he has to say. Damn, Drake acting like a real light skin right now you know how, how they get all Man, sensitive no, no. Uh, look, look, hey he he's get too mad. sitting at the table right now yeah, I know, right? Exactly. Say something that's like that. why I want to say light skin nigga I'm like okay but he's definitely Drake mad is, man yeah and Joe are, trying to get off of it yeah, yeah, he, Joe's not even th like what bro I yeah. just said that the music and I heard a song today that I even was like wait what is going on right now like from the new album so I yeah. don't know Um, I mean I don't know uh I'm glad Joe said he don't want no beef. This ain't 2016, nigga. I'm getting money, you getting money, move on, you know? Yeah, and, and yeah. so I don't I I think it should be dying soon. <laughs> like Joe has already diffused the situation by saying I don't want no beef. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I was just talking, but okay, you winning, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that is going to go further than this yeah. because it, because he's not making it. A, now, if he made it a back and forth, it will. Right. But he's just trying to dead it, you know, and everything like that. But um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's, I think it's dead after today or tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts, bro? I'm going to say this. You know what I'm saying? I think Drake, yeah, he is going too far with uh, going back and forth with him because he don't even have to. You know what I'm saying? You're Drake. Drake, I ain't going to lie. I'm not even listening to what Joe Budden said. I'm pretty sure. Half the world I not even listen to what he's saying. <laughs> Drake, keep doing your thing, bro. Keep right. collabing with the young artists to give them a shot to keep the hip hop going, keep it alive. I mean, you're doing the right thing, bro. If you want to collab with some of these young artists out there to, to give them a name because he's a big uh, individual as a hip hop artist where everybody know who he is. So, you know, if you do a song with Drake, they give you a name for yourself. So yeah. he's helping out other artists to get, the, you know right. what I'm saying, to, to get to another status in their career. You feel me? So I can't blame Drake for nothing he's doing. Like I said, he's the he's the king in hip-hop for, for a reason. So no matter what, I don't even know why Drake going back and forth with, with Joe Button. I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I would have just left it alone and just been laughing. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Drake. Right. But, yeah, don't pay attention to that, man. Keep doing and your thing. Drake, shout out to Drake. And still shout out to Joe Button, too. But, uh, yeah, much love, Drake. I just wanted to say real quick, in a bigger argument, why they ain't talking about Drake painting his nails yellow and pink? Like, 
Why are we talking about like? I mean, Joe, I mean, Joe. Why is he doing wow. that? So like, that's what they really <laughs> should be arguing about, on. nigga. You paint your nails pink. What and that, and, and, and that's why I give Joe Budden props. <sighs> Joe Budden don't get personal. It was about yeah, the music, okay. and that's why I said, bro, <laughs> keep it in the music. You know, this is it, it. Just got too personal and emotional. Doing all that, you know, I, I get what you're saying, bro, but you took it to a place not even Joe Budden with. This is all some, like, personal. You probably were a light-skinned. So I don't know what the hell going on. But it's like Joe like Joe Budden looked at it like, bro, I wasn't even trying to go to this place with all of this. Yeah. I'm just yeah. doing my job. Yeah, that's I, I, got, I, got the, I do have the biggest platform when yeah. it comes to hip-hop. I'm sorry that you're Drake. I'm sorry you, you're Drake, but I got to give my critique on anybody and everybody. Yeah. He have to. Just, just think about it. Let's be real. What if Joe Budden didn't say nothing about the album? You don't think that it's going to be a lot of people saying, Joe, what do you oh, think about Drake's album? Yeah. Everybody's going to be asking Joe that. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's one of the things Joe mentioned. He said, I got to get my opinion. Yeah. I'm the, I got the number one mic in hip hop. Yeah. Everybody going to want to know what I think about it. So I got to break it down and let people know what I think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's all he did. That's he trying to get off of it because he see it's getting way too overly personal. Yeah. But the one thing that I was saying the other day, because like I said, I'm a big, I'm a very big Drake fan. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. But I think that everybody have a right, especially if you earned your stripes when it come down to this table, like Joe Budden have, he have a right to express his opinion when it come down to Drake music, rather he like it or not. And then after that is done, that's his opinion. Mm -hmm. If Drake want to say, hey, I don't agree with your opinion. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, oh, if you want to battle, we could battle, whatever it is, say all of that, whatever. Mm -hmm. But he got a right to express his opinion no matter what. Just like I said, also, when they breaking down a game, rather it was Michael Jordan, Kobe, or LeBron James right now, ex-NBA -N -X players got to keep it real. They get into it with Kendrick Perkins all the time because Kendrick Perkins tell the real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Him and KD used to be real cool. Now they not real cool. Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan used to be real cool. Now they not real cool. You know why? Damn, that's because crazy. sometimes people cannot take your opinion when you're sitting at this table, especially when you're the best. Charles Barkley is the best. Him the and Michael Jordan is why? not cool no more. Because he, he on they the was table, not on the basketball court. Well, no, no, no. Okay. They asked Charles Barkley why this is during him and Michael Jordan friendship. They okay, asked yeah. him, what do you think about the team? You know, the Charlotte, you know, uh oh. Charlotte Bobcats and everything like that. And he said they suck. They're not oh, yeah. good, which they did suck. Yeah. They're not good right now. You know what I'm saying? And and, and as and as a owner of Michael Jordan is not who he was as a player. Yeah. Michael Jordan didn't like it. But it was the truth. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. When you give the truth, why do your opinion gotta get shattered by everybody saying you're hating? Like that's that's what we gotta stop. Anything that we say here, yeah, we're not Joe Budden and everything like that. Like we're basically focused and based when it come down to our community. But if we say something, given our critique, we're not hating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got nothing but love for everybody out here that's grinding and doing their thing. But when you sit at this table, you got to give your opinion. Yeah. You have to. That's, that's all. So that's why I wasn't with all the hating stuff and everything like that. He gave his opinion. Drake had a right to say what he had to say too. You know? Mm -hmm. But now, it's getting a little bit too far, bro. He's not responding. Right. Leave it alone. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, at the end of the day, yeah, you Drake. You know, hey, I would have took that with a grain of salt, kept it pushing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it is what it is, you know. But <laughs> Drake uh, Ben yeah, wanted I, to say that I, shit though. Drake Ben wanted to it tell. It sounded like he had a lot. It sounded like he had a lot. He was holding in because, like he said, him. he didn't just put out that post, but he also DM'd, DM'd him, yeah. Joe Budden. Yeah, you know. You know what I'm saying? The day that nigga say something. He was waiting. You know, I could tell Drake being you, but we know with it with his music. Drake being his feelings, we know that though. We listen to Drake music. I could tell you Drake is the nigga. Now, we love it, though. We love that. You know what I'm saying? That means he be, put, he be like, nothing was the same with Super in his feelings. Yeah. But to me, that's one of the greatest albums I've ever heard. So we like that, but keep it in the music, though. Drake, don't don't come out with it. Because once yeah. you start to talk sometimes, bro, it get a little bit, hey, man, you, you sound like you're about to cry. You crying while you writing this. I don't know what's going on, bro. You know, but keep it in the music because we love it in the music, you know, but. Yeah. Would you no, gonna I say do, something, bro? Yeah, I was going to say, no, I do feel that, you know what I'm saying, with uh, Drake, you know, with being sensitive. You know, for him to just text back like that, I ain't going to lie. I never thought that would be something that Drake could actually do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. him doing this because I'm like, that's too sensitive. All right, bro, you going back and forth now? All right, bro, you should have been let that go. <laughs> like him going back and forth just, yeah, it, it making him look a little different now. And it's like, all right, come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like now you get in touch with your feelings. We Everybody kind of seeing clearly who you are inside. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing <laughs> you don't want to show people who yeah. you are really inside. Yeah. You want to keep that away from people. So, yeah, yeah. yeah Drake, yeah, you need to – 
stop texting back, bro. Like, leave it alone. Keep doing what you're, you're, you're doing your thing. You're, you're a Drake. Drake you're Drake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying? Go get on a yacht and get like yeah. 20 bitches, man, and, and have fun. <laughs> Turn up. Go do something like that. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you know. Jeez. But but at the end of the day too, when it comes down to them too, this is this is rich niggas' problems. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Both of these dudes is Drake is really rich, but Joe Budden is rich too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like like they both crazy rich, crazy yeah. paid. Walk away from this, leave it alone. You know you got now Birdman saying this, and other people get. Well, y'all too walk away from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you don't want to see nothing. This something so stupid yeah. turn into something so big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so yeah. And Joe just. Just brushed it off. Drake yeah, don't yeah. even have a choice at this point. Even if he has some more ammunition, nigga, just be quiet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe already just said, bro, I don't know, you, congrats. It's all you. You know. Yeah, yeah. The Nobody only one you gonna, else. the only one you gonna see talking about it now is DJ Academics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and his he little cheer at home. Yeah, you know, you know, Drake. You know, that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. But what is he doing? What you doing, Drake? <laughs> what you doing? You know, let me break this down. You know, that's that's yeah. Academics, man. You know, exactly. so. But uh, anything else to say about this? You know. Shit, yeah, Drake probably acting like that too because you know he got Birdman backing him up. You know what I'm saying? He, oh yeah, know, he got he got he got the all hood the niggas. Dudes. You know, yeah, all, all the love. street niggas. You know what I'm saying? So all Drake love. like, oh, you know what? Okay, okay, yeah, I'm about to turn this up a notch. Nah, yeah. you know what? Fuck that. I'm tired of holding <laughs> holding everything. I'm about to let it all out. Yeah, yeah. You can Drake tell. know it. Drake was feeling yeah, it, man. Yeah. But yeah, you need to still quit that shit. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said too, one thing that I noticed, just like when it came down, it is what it is over. But like with no jumper, when somebody shot, when somebody say something to, something about you, that mean they really respect what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're just I ain't finna say nothing. Like let's let's be yeah. real. Remember, clips was putting out in in, in the past. We'll see people like you know doing videos on them, and that people got probably like twenty views and stuff. Yeah. We're gonna say something about those individuals for who cares? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Over there, no jumper. They say yeah, something. I'm yeah, saying something. Yeah. But yeah. you know, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Cool. I'm saying something. You know, that's a viral clip. Yeah. I'm gonna be real, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not finna go respond to anybody yeah, yeah, just yeah. that's out there and everything like that, you know. But Drake respect yeah. his platform. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So if I'm Joe, I'm taking it like that too. Like, yeah. hey, he definitely respect what I do. Yeah. No matter what yeah. he's saying in this message, he respect the boy. Yeah. You know, so hey, shout out to both boy. of them though. Shout out shout to Drake, out. shout out to uh right. Joe Budden. Yeah. Moving along though, uh, we actually got Drake in another situation, but he nothing that he did. But I don't know if y'all saw this, but DJ Vlad criticizes Drake and DJ Khaled for not speaking on yeah. Hama's attacks. This to me was 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 kind of crazy. It's like bro, they're celebrities; they're not po politicians. Like, but I I, but let me read a little bit, and then y'all give y'all yeah. we give our opinion. DJ Vlad has called out Drake and DJ Khaled for their seemingly lack of support in response to the attacks on Israel by a militant Palestinian faction. On Wednesday, October 10th, the polarizing media mogul questioned both stars' silence given their ethnic backgrounds. Drake is Jewish and DJ Khaled is a Palestinian American, which both artists have been open about in the past. Vlad began his public inquiry by asking his followers if they were aware that neither Drake nor Khaled have addressed the ongoing conflict between the two nations in the Middle East. Has anyone noticed that the most famous Jewish person on earth, Drake, and the most famous Palestinian person on earth, DJ Khaled, haven't said a single thing about the Gaza-Israel conflict? The former mixtape DJ wrote. We'll leave it at that. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on Vlad calling DJ Khaled and Drake out for not uh, said. Before I say that, I'm gonna yeah. just say, you know, uh, my condolences to all the individuals, you know, and everything like that, you know, in 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 Gaza, Israel, that is going through, you know, what they're going through. You know, I think they said the toll right now, over two thousand people have passed, have died, you know, and and a lot of them are women and kids. You know, it's, yeah. it's really sad. It, it it is really sad. You know, and um, you know, we gotta send our prayers strong prayers mm -hmm. out you know to the middle east right now that's going through this um but um but we're talking right now about vlad you know saying what he said along the lines of calling out drake and dj khaled um for not saying anything about this so what are your thoughts let's, let's start with you bro uh well shit uh i i say uh dj vlad is kind of wrong for that um i mean he's right and wrong he's right in a way where you know i mean this is something that we all got to you know, uh, uh, give our peace on this situation, you know, but uh, also, you know, Vlad, you know, that's that's not his culture, you know what I'm saying? It's not his race. I mean, 
you know, if it was other other uh, uh, Palestinians or want, want to reach out to Drake or, you know, or DJ Khaled or whatever like that. Drake I mean, yeah, that's Jewish. between them. That's what he's saying. Yeah, huh? Drake is Jewish and um, DJ Khaled yeah, is Palestinian. Palestine, so, yeah. oh shit! I mean, yeah, shit, middle, I don't know America. what these niggas yeah. are, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to me, yeah, to me, Drake is black and white. I don't know. I didn't see the other side. You feel me? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess what I mean, the Jews should be getting that Drake, right? Right? Yeah, exactly. they should be talking to Drake. It shouldn't be nothing about uh, Vlad saying anything about. The, yeah. the, the Jews, you know what I'm saying? Keep between them because that situation that happened a while ago when Charleston White was talking about the Asians. You know what I'm saying? Well, what? Vlad got, what? Vlad Dugat got Jewish in him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he does? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Vlad see, Dugat. damn. See, all this yeah. shit I didn't even know, bro. So <laughs> now it's the, <laughs> that kind of changed the, the situation. Yeah, yeah. I don't think changed a lot of people don't know. But, you know, Vlad, yeah. people are, we got to remember, even though Vlad been Vlad for a long time, people uh -huh. are just now really seeing Vlad and yeah. knowing Vlad. Yeah. Hey, well, if that's man? the case then, I mean, I guess Vlad do got a right to say something and, and, and speak up on Drake about not saying something because, I mean, that's true. I mean, hey, they should speak up for their own culture, what's going on out here, you know? But, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's how I see it, man. So, yeah, I mean, hey, I guess Drake got to say something. <laughs> Cali need to say something. <laughs> um, yeah, she. Yeah. Well, What's your it thoughts? is like, well, it is a tragedy what's going on over there, which is why, like, it's there is a lot going on in Israel and Palestinian and the terrorist group attacking them, and now Israel fighting back and they're finding kids with their heads and women with their heads missing. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. and so if you have a platform and you're of that background, which they both are on opposite sides. It would make sense to at least like um, condone the violence. I mean, no, no, not condone it. Like tell, say, hey, this is wrong. But like Jay, they said, is Drake ready to lose followers over this? Yeah. Like he should be. You should be ready to go to war for truth. But he's not about to use his hip hop platform to talk about war. He's not a yeah. politician. He's not in politics. So you can't really like blame him. That's not what they get into. You don't see Beyonce on TV talking about politics. Like, yeah, yeah. You, I know she likes Donald Trump, but she gonna dance on the stage with Hillary Clinton. You know that. They, they, but they're not about to lose their money. So, Vlad, no, he's not gonna do that. He might not, and if he doesn't, it can't be held against him. Same thing with DJ Khaled. He's not about to get on there. He could say stop, you know, but he's not about to use his platform for that. That's yeah. not what they do. If they were like commentators and they talk regularly and they go on the news and share their thoughts, fine. But these are rappers talking about strip club and sitting there with sexy red. Like, <laughs> this is not what they're here for. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. Vlad probably just reaching. I mean, no, he's not reaching. But it's not their job. Yeah. Like, they're not in that space. Yeah, yeah. No, so definitely. you can't really get mad at them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, for, first and foremost, I want to say when it comes down to Vlad, you know, uh, uh, I... I respect Vlad and his platform, you know, uh, because of what he did. You know, he started from nothing, mm -hmm. and he built Vlad TV to be probably like right now, yeah. especially after the Keefe D arrest, the biggest media platform, definitely on YouTube, right? I thought it was like Joe Vlad Budden. TV. I thought it was no jumper. No, no, no hip hop. One. Joe Budden okay. have, is the biggest <laughs> okay. hip hop platform. Okay. I'm talking about just media outlet in general, because oh, you know Vlad interview like everybody. That? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. and and you and Vlad, he went on CNN. And, oh, okay. and did an interview oh. after KBD got arrested. Oh, okay. So Vlad, he's on another level. He's been doing it for a long time, yeah. so I respect Vlad and everything like that. But I feel with this situation, Vlad was wrong, and I'll say why. I'm not saying that people should not show that things like this, you know, uh, uh, matter to them. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying that people should. And if it matter, say something, you know. Yeah. But why are we in a place now where we expect celebrities, yeah. celebrities, to like tell us about politics. Yeah. Why are we in that place right now? We now expect celebrities yeah. to break down politics to us. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And explain what's going on out there in Israel. We expect Drake and DJ Khaled. I know. <laughs> Drake ain't never even did a song like a J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar yeah. where you really like getting into like talking about the community ever. <laughs> Yeah. The dude talk about being in his feelings over girls who broke his heart yeah. when he was 17 and 18 years old. Right. And we now expect that dude who just did <laughs> an album called For All the Dogs and got <laughs> curlers in his hair to now go sit on a stage or write a post saying, you know what, uh, this is the reasons on why yeah. no. this should not be going on right now, no. you yeah. know, in Israel. No, 
yeah. you know, and everything like that in the Middle East. Like, come on, let's be real. Yeah. We got to stop expecting things, yeah. everything from celebrities. Right. Celebrities cannot break down everything. See, people did this to Cardi B. She went and did, went and talked. And to me, I think that she kind of a little bit maybe embarrassed herself because <laughs> that wasn't her, her place. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, I think some things she said was good when she was, uh, I don't know if y'all saw that interview she did where she was talking to Joe Biden, that sit down and everything. But I'm just saying at the end of the day, like, be, they they get put in this, these places because they listening to what everybody is saying. Yeah. Oh, you don't got nothing to say about yeah. what's going on in our community? You got nothing to say what's going on when it come down to the Middle East? You got nothing to say what's going on in that country? And that's, and that's your race yeah. and everything like that? But these are celebrities. Yeah. So to me, that's why I feel like he's wrong. Yes, if Drake want to say something, he could say yeah. something. You know, because he do have roots that connect to yeah. the Jewish community. You know, DJ Khaled, same thing. Yeah. But we cannot expect celebrities to be over here breaking stuff down like yeah. that. It really just don't make any sense. And it, then they're gonna. It, it just no, don't. I, I agree. They open their mouth. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was say if they if they don't say the right thing, like you said, Cardi B got on there. It's over. You see what I'm saying? If Everybody clowning. Misstep saying something that's not politically correct, like in that situation, people are going to cancel him. Yeah. Oh, he said it's their fault. Oh, cancel him. He's blaming victims. It's over. He can't. He can't touch that. You know. Drake probably like, man, I don't even know how to <laughs> yeah. respond to this. Exactly. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. What are you talking about? He probably about? really like, dang, do? man, this is, you know, this this hurts seeing this and yeah. seeing that. But he probably just don't know how to express. A lot of yeah. people do not know how to express in that type of way. Drake yeah. never really expressed when it come down to talking about the community in, in a very, very metaphorical way, yeah. you know, like a Kendrick and in the J. Cole and in a cube and people like that. So Drake probably don't even know how to go to that place when it come down yeah. to expressing in that type of yeah. way. You know, so, you know, I, it's kind of weird to me. You was going to say something, bro? Yeah, I want to say uh, maybe I think DJ Vlad got it confused. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, every different type of artist or, you know, hip hop artists out there, they kind of like, you know, feed off of things in their own way. You know, we got the talkers, we got people that like to be involved with politics, like, you know, rappers like Tupac, you know what I'm saying, yeah. rappers like Kanye West. So you do got artists out there that do be involved with politics, but Drake ain't one of them, you know what I'm right. saying? Like you were saying, bro, you're right. Like, I don't think Drake, we know how to come <laughs> about that situation because he's not a talker like that. Yeah. He's not nobody that always was involved with politics, yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So he mentioned Tupac I feel you on too that. in there. Oh, what yeah. happened to the Tupacs? Nigga, what? I mean, it ain't Drake it, is not it's only one Tupac, Tupac man. <laughs> it was only man. one Tupac. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's never gonna be another Tupac, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. And, and let's be real when it comes down to somebody like Drake. Drake, he probably like, man, I know I really don't know nothing. I'm just being real when I say this. He probably like, I don't know nothing even about the Jewish family members he, I got. I'm, I'm more connected to the too. black culture no, and, and black community in my Jewish family. Mother. He was raised by his mother, but remember he said he was around all, yeah, you know, all okay. black black dudes yeah, and people like that, you know. And that's what he identified with yeah. as Drake. You know, for the most part, you know, he yeah. identified except for, you know, that that one picture we saw when he had the the, you know, the uh, you know the the the, the face, you know. The the oh, you never yeah, saw that yeah, picture yeah, when he yeah, had yeah, the black face. Black face yeah. You never saw that. Well, he, yeah. You know, so and he was on that was kind of fishy. White. That he, was kind of fishy. He white you know what I'm saying? Though. But he but even white, he probably yeah. connect more with a white community and black community more than the the Jewish community. Yeah, probably. You know, and everything like that. So we don't even know what they identify with when it come down to Drake and DJ Khaled yeah. to really be going that far with it, just because they have pieces of that in them. You yeah. know, from their from their background and everything. That's so uh, no matter what, yeah. nothing but respect for Vlad. But you know, Vlad with this one, man, I yeah. it it was kind of wrong, you know. And then you called out two of the biggest names in the game. It's a lot of people. I'm pretty sure that is Jewish, right. that are celebrities that you could have called out. Yeah. But yeah. you choose Drake. Yeah. So I mean, Vlad, but what you Drake, do, what you try, you trying to you trying to get on you trying to get your message heard, Vlad. I know. You try you I trying know. to have you trying to I be know. on all the blogs right now, Vlad. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, let's let's be yeah, real. Yeah. Versus you Joe, know? now it's Vlad. You try to get on too. You call out Drake. I know. You know now this right here. I'm not saying it was, but I could see if somebody saw this is hating. You know, like oh, out of all the people you call out Drake, I I could I I'm not saying he was hating. Yeah. I think it's more like you know you're gonna but be no. on every block. But but no, I think Drake is to, his mother is like straight Jew. Yeah yeah. yeah. So, so I yeah he, yeah he would call him. No I, I'm saying it because it's a lot of Jews in the yeah. game. A lot of Jews in the game. But you pick the biggest one. Yeah. Drake. You know. Yeah. So it's like you know that's gonna be on all the blogs. You know it. You know. Yeah. It also could be. It also could be for you know game. He know that hey, 
even though I'm passionate about it, yeah, my name is about to be on every blog because I'm about to say Drake name. You yeah. telling me you don't but, uh, think about that at all, at all when you say Drake name? Well, you gonna be on every blog? One, one thing about it. See? No, no, so it was it, he put out his album. Yeah, he, I know. yeah, that's he different. You know, he was response, he, everybody but, that put out an album. He's gonna critique everybody's album. Yeah, this was just out the blue. Yeah, you know, I mean, on top of, on top of that, getting into a situation like that, I mean, you can end your career. I mean, we seen what happened with Kanye. Just, yeah, just when he mean. said that little comment about the Jews. I mean, so it's like yeah, Drake no, getting involved yeah. with that. It could be something it's that might over. fuck up some shit. That's where it's like he lose everything, his endorsements, his his label, everything. So, with that being said, I mean, I it's a I think it's a good thing I'm staying out of. Yeah, not saying nothing about it. He's because definitely gonna lose. You might say the wrong something. word and yeah. it's a rap. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah. You know, you might even have somebody trying to kill you. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. If, if you don't know the right yeah. things to, to say, say and yeah, how to talk right. when exactly. it comes down to it. Yeah. For instance, yeah, that's a deep he's situation. not a politician, uh, so he doesn't. A great example. Ice Cube know how to handle itself yeah. when he talk about politics yeah. mm -hmm. and when he break down the culture. Yep, you know, that's why people respect him even more when yeah. he speak. In fact, they looking for Cube when something happens. Yeah. You know, of course you get some people, you always going to get that when you jump into politics because you always yeah. got people over here, people over there. But Ice Cube is one of them to me that even though maybe, maybe everybody don't agree, he get more people in line. You know, with, with his message, because he always centered around what's going to help us all as a black community and as black people. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we all really know that. Rather you Democrat or Republican, you yeah. know he's really there for us. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. so I could see Ice Cube talking about stuff like this, you know, uh, especially when it comes down to our community. I understand. But like I said, at the end of the day, we got to understand Drake. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I, I, would, I, would, I would think it's funny. I, I wouldn't understand if I saw Drake say anything <laughs> he, about politics. No, yeah, you know who you know who else yeah. too, bro. It was uh, Nip too. You know he played a big part. Oh, because, Nip, yeah, that's yeah, because yeah, I, I, yeah. I heard that uh, he played a part with the uh, between uh, um, LAPD and uh, most of the gangs out here in in Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, as far as when it came down to street keeping politics, Nip, keeping the peace. You, you know, know? What? Nip was more when it came to street politics. Yeah, street politics. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 nobody yeah. was a, nobody at that time could do it better than Nip. Yeah, yeah, nah. When it came down to street all. politics, yep. you know what I'm saying? But you know, when I say Q, I mean like. Broad, more broad. Yeah, yeah. You know, you see Cube on CNN. Yeah. You know, or, or, just, or even yeah. Fox News. You yeah. see him on everything talking. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. But uh, yeah. Shout out to the ones who were great, who did stuff like that, like the Nip, the Cubes, the Pox, and yeah. and all of them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But uh, but we can't be expecting easy. that from no Drake. It ain't it ain't. Nah. Drake, Drake, don't even listen. Stay away from. All of that, Drake. You Everybody's know, trying to turn Drake kid. hood, huh? What's going on, man? Everybody's know, trying man. to make Drake a gangster right now. <laughs> like, nigga, speak up. Nigga, say <laughs> something. Nigga, do something. <laughs> they need to leave Drake alone, oh, man. man. I know he you going know. through a lot. He like, man, I just want to go back into my shit, man. <laughs> I just want to go into the job with these 20 Back in my hair, get a couple of young 22, 23-year-olds and go chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's uh, uh, go on to the next topic. So this, this is kind of like a extension <laughs> to the topic that we was on last week so remember last week uh well no no my bad a couple of days ago remember we was talking about um you know tia mari oh yeah and, and, and everything you know her her comments about you know the dating world is yes it's not it right pee, now yes. and remember when we was talking and we were saying well when they come down the court we, we i'm sure he's good you not he's yeah. not tripping about none of this stuff um yeah, he, he really is good. You know, uh, oh, it's, <laughs> Tia, I'm sorry, I had to bring this up. Tia Mari's husband, Corey Harderick, has a new woman, a white woman. <laughs> uh, where's the white woman? Why are you right there in the bottom one? picture. No, I got it. Hey, hey, we got, uh, no, 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 we got, we got to, we got to, uh, uh, Show that picture, Francis. Uh, I, I put a. Uh, we got a picture yeah, too. Let's see the white well, girl, well, the snow bunny. Yeah. It's a. It's, it's, it should be one yeah. more pick. One more pick. You know. She, the, and, at and, the gym. Yeah, he met her at the. Yeah, he worked out. <laughs> now they they saying it ain't anything Paul. super serious yeah. right now, but you know, hey, he's not thinking about all of that Tia right now. I'm gonna read a little bit of it. Why, <laughs> you know, uh, hey, Francis, was you, you able to find it? Okay, cool. So he's putting it up. Why he's putting it up? I read a little bit. You know, and like I said, I'm just bringing this up. Because you know everybody say, oh, Corey's the one who's probably no. Corey's Corey's not tripping. That's why he's quiet. He ain't tripping about all of that. But I just I'm just gonna read that. And I just want to hear, especially your thoughts, you know, Queen. So Tia Mori <laughs> has been all over social media talking about dating and how she decided to throw away her marriage of nearly two decades. And while Tia's been out bashing her marriage and her ex, Corey seemingly moved on. Media takeout spoke with a person close to Corey, who told us that Corey has been spending time with a new woman. 
Corey met the beautiful young woman who Media Takeout has learned is a blonde fitness model at the gym. Corey's friends explain Corey was really devastated about losing Tia. You know, he was, you know. So he's been working on personal improvement. He's taking more acting classes and getting into fitness. That's when, according to Corey's pal, he met the new woman in his life. The friend added, they met at the gym. She's a fitness influencer and they hit it off. We're told that at least for now, the relationship isn't very serious, but it could be. The friend told Media Takeout, Corey is a relationship guy. He's not really about that single life. He wants to settle down with the good woman. We really hope that Tia comes to her senses before she loses that good black man. Wait, before you ever rush, hold up. Before you ever rush, I got to say this because you're going to go for a while. Let me say this. You know what's so funny about the situation, bro, that I was thinking about? What is that, bro? It's like these niggas, right? You know what I'm saying? In his relationship with these black women, for some reason, when they break up, they go to the snow bunny. I mean, exactly. first happened to Michael B. We seen it happen to Michael B. Now we seen it happen with Corey. It's like it goes on and on. Yo, it's like what the Kanye fuck? West. Go from Kanye West after Amber Rose, then Kim, and now the white woman. Yeah, you know and it's like this shit is crazy. Time. I'm yeah, just looking at the crazy. picture like. <laughs> What's and going on? That's because black men want to like, be with black women. They want to be yeah, with black that, women, but yeah, they don't you see work that. out. Exactly. You they see don't that, work out. It ain't working out. But yeah, what, they you they gotta say, exactly. what you got to say, Mariah? What you got to say, Gwen? Because niggas ain't serious. But look, that girl, I hope that's not the girl you sit up here laughing, thinking Tia give a damn about because if it's her. He, no matter what, he just moved on. Yeah, move on. We don't want you. That's why we let <laughs> you go. I don't care. That's why he was let go. That's all she gotta say every time is, oh, that, we don't want you. I mean, damn, who know y'all? What you gonna say? We don't want you. Why, why does all you switch it up? We don't want you. We switch up to the white girl now. Oh, we didn't want you we anyway. We don't want you. Oh, fuck. Come on, Emirati. Oh, my God. Come on. He have to get a white girl. All these black people out here, he would have loved all this, but They would have loved Corey. But all right, whatever. No, but, no. Uh, Tia my, do my. not miss him. It ain't, they didn't want them. Say the real reason why. We want to hear you say that. What's the don't reason? Don't say, oh, they reason they didn't want you anyway. They didn't want her. <laughs> she, I don't think it was that with Tiara. No, 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 I don't that. think it was That's that. Oh, I just didn't want him. Okay. I doubt can, that. I want to ask. I want to ask. Her husband because he wasn't pulling his end of the weight as a husband. Wow. She's been carrying the burden. There you She's go. went on That's every news. I want to ask you this. I want to ask you this. Just, just by, just by off of your thoughts of like you know their relationship and seeing what type of dude he was with her. Do you think that Corey's a good a good guy, a good dude? He seems like he's a cool dude. Okay. But how long is that is she gonna do cool? She met him at the bus stop as a striving actor. Like now he's coming up and stuff, and she's saying he's still not holding his weight. Like, what do you think she, she means by holding his weight? I want to see is this worth a, a divorce? <laughs> what do you think she means by not holding his race? Okay, I mean holding his just, weight. Maybe maybe with the kids, maybe financially, maybe with the house. Even though they got money, she has money. She's been doing this her whole life. All financially. He, Hey, Even no, though they're both millionaires, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just not, uh, he uh, it's not enough millions yeah, no, in his yeah, account, yeah, though. No. Corey is not touching Tia. But, I'm um, not saying and, that and he is. have to. Yeah, it's cool. It doesn't even matter. The money is not even the whole issue. She was saying, and this is, I'm a woman. I know she. he's not doing what she needs to do. It wasn't serving her. And he's not pulling his weight. Women get tired. That's what. That's why hey, we don't bro. really care when y'all leave. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, Emirati, you got the same answer because you said the nigga. same thing when it came down to what the coach and uh, what's his name? What uh, that, that that guy divorced? No, what was that coach and divorced? Uh, the actor? Udoka? Yeah, no, yeah, Udoka yeah, she said the same situation. Yeah. Oh, uh, he wasn't handling his business. That's he wasn't pulling his weight. No. That's, that's why she's taking him to court to get full custody. That's what she's basically saying. Yeah, but she's giving the same answer with every situation when the situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's always that. Well, not divorced. pulling his weight. Thank God for me. My shit just came through. Look, I can get not pulling his weight. See, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but when it comes down to Corey, I got to take up for him Divorce because one thing, that, one thing that I believe everybody believe in this situation, this is why everybody's saying, Tia, just go back. Go back. You know why? No, let me explain. You know why they saying Don't that, say though? Don't say that. You know, but you know why, though? Because they know that this is a good dude. This was a good black man. No, Okay, he probably wasn't making what she was making and everything like that, but you could tell he was a good black man because even after the marriage, he was putting a post and doing videos. He he wanted his family back. He, like, like his friends say, he's a family man. But you know why he go over in that direction? You know why? A lot of things that a lot of black women don't know. You know what it is? These other coaches, they come to us. They smiling, they hitting on us. Okay, it's almost they. It's like it's like what people don't understand is that they go after us like we go after women. I'm being honest when it comes down to a like lot of that? these other coaches because because of how they treat you. 
the way you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure like this girl that Corey met, she probably extra friendly, agreeable. Okay. She probably bring them lunch, you know, okay. when they have workout so sessions Tia. and everything. She probably taking them out. You know, she just being extra like giving to him. Okay. And men like that. You know what I'm saying? Men uh -huh. like to be supported. Men like to be respected. Men love that when it come down to a woman. So he's getting all of this from her and Hey, it turned into a relationship. Okay. So when, wait, wait, so when you look at this situation, you'd be like, oh, we don't want you. What did he do? The only thing that he, he do is a, it's a woman him. who was showing him interest and they ended up really liking each other. And he's like, wow, she's a cool girl. And he's a relationship type of guy and it's working out. What did he do wrong? Nothing. She doesn't so that, why, doesn't so want why he said, oh, we don't want, we don't we want don't you. Want we, what did he do? She don't want him no more. Nah. Okay, but the whole <laughs> world is saying, wow. but the whole world is getting on her and telling and telling her, go back to your dude before you lose him. Hey, I'm going to say this. Black girls the is telling him hey, that. Hey, Amarachi, I'm going to just say that it is true what bro saying because I ain't going to lie. When I walk into a room, uh, 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 some, like when just black women there, most, for the most part, I get them just looking at me, staring at me, kind of rolling their eyes, looking at, checking me out. They don't say anything. But when I go into like places where it's just Mexican women, oh my God, I hear Bonito, oh Poppy, how you doing? <laughs> they walk up you. to me. I get all them type of responses. Oh, so it is a big difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what bro saying, he's right about that. Yeah. You know? About how, the way how, they're I, treated. How, really how, do, how do you think we learned the word poppy, hermoso? Yeah, yeah, how like. do you think we learned that yeah, those words? Exactly, how do you think? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like. how they approach, you know, and everything like that. Look, look, I'm going to be real. I will never, ever, 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 ever forget when I was at me and, um, you know, little Davey, you know, because of the light skin too and everything like that. We were walking we in Fox Hills Ball. It was about 20 girls in a group, right? Mm -hmm. One of the girls was like, we heard them talking. You know, this was like about maybe like 10 years ago. We heard them talking. One of the girls like, oh, my God, they're fine. And one of the other girls say, oh, don't walk to them. They don't like black girls. See, this is what y'all think when it <laughs> comes down yep, to a lot of us. Y'all yep, just right. automatically judging and saying, yeah. oh, they don't like black black women yeah. and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and then y'all say, oh, we don't want them. Well, when it comes down to the cultures, <laughs> the only difference is that they are approaching us and they not yeah, over here thinking yeah. negative stuff before yeah. getting to know us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and everything like well, that. Well, thank God all the black men are baby moms mama and the white girls so whatever keep it up because that's all niggas is gonna do if they ain't serious anyway yeah. so keep that up well it's true huh? all these white girls is baby mamas out here i know so many white baby mamas right now even more than the black girls what they gotta do about <laughs> what is that so, gonna do with so, it? you so, just trying to make <laughs> something you just trying to bring something to have all them niggas but what that else? don't even make no sense <laughs> yeah. when it come down to this topic she said only thing only thing <laughs> she got is we don't want you we no don't more. Want you. <laughs> we don't, we want, don't you. want you. We didn't care. We didn't want Anytime you anyway. Anytime we hear about this, we don't want you. Man. You going to end up saying that about I'm, every black dude out hey, there. Hey, I bet any money. Any dudes is going to be true. left. Hey, I bet That's any money in your true. past relationships, you probably... <laughs> I did what? She probably went to the home girl at the end of the I didn't want him anyway, but go back home by herself and just be crying about it. Like, I ain't got to text him. him. Where's he at? Where's he at? Thinking about it. I already him. know, Amarachi. All that is bullshit. No. Come on. Come they they on. want him. You know how, she they, want, want, no, Tara no. wants him. Tia doesn't want him. And that's how I even, okay, I'm just giving it Oh, she's going to regret it. G give it another 10 she years. She's going to regret she it. Oh, she's definitely going to regret it. Y'all don't even want Okay. So <laughs> when a woman, can somebody put in the comments, please, when a woman is fed up, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Until 10 Come years on. later. It's like falling out <laughs> 10 of 10 years love. later. So All of that song stuff is over. You're favorite singer. You're not going to listen to what nah, he's telling nah, you. They in a hunt. When a woman is fed up, she's good. We don't want them. Until the divorce. I don't care. I don't want that Until the divorce honeymoon stage is over and you alone. Home, and you're sitting there, you're getting older, you're getting gray hairs, oh, you know, your kids so you are grown, wanna... they don't even want to be in your life every day, <laughs> and you're by yourself. Then you like, oh my God, I miss him. I want him. No. I bet you any money no. that it's going to come a time a that, she that she lost. He's a good dude. But she got rid of him. He's a she good dude, though. Him. He's a good dude. I'm just saying, hey, do your so thing, we Corey. We was talking about dude. this the other day. Hey, Tia was the one who was complaining on an interview. It wasn't Corey. And we know why Corey's now. Corey's not Corey good. Serious. Corey is just there broken hearted. <laughs> Corey not bad, man. He, Corey he doing his thing. Hey, on. shout out to Corey, though, man. You know niggas, what I'm saying? This is why you can't well, get well, a bunch of niggas. Where the bitches at? <laughs> <laughs> they gonna tell you how to do it. What happened, Corey? Because Corey, oh, she, Corey man. is not serving her, so let him go serve the white but, girl and move on and find a new family. She serve the white him. girl. Wow. She wow. Want him. Do. It's a it's a reason. It's well, a, we gotta get one like that. We gotta get one. On that. She don't want it. Yeah, we need one of those. She don't you, know? Want it. you know what I'm saying? For right I'm now, we'll just do that something. one. For right now, we'll just press that one. You know. <laughs> Thank God I can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I know but what it but is. look, at, at the end of the day, when it come down to it, 
I know and I believe, and I think we all feel like that, Corey's a, a good dude at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And we see that because of what everybody is saying when it comes down to the media and also yeah. on Instagram and TikTok and, and, and uh, 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 you know, all the Twitter, all the platforms. Yeah. What are they all Facebook. saying? Go back to your yeah. dude. You better go get him before he's gone, gone. You know, we see everybody saying that. So yeah. at the they end of the day, man, that. Corey's Especially good. Especially if he's a good dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. but what if she's tired and she doesn't like him anymore? What are y'all not getting? If y'all don't like a woman and y'all leave a woman. Why wouldn't she? Wait, wait. If y'all don't like a woman and y'all leave a woman, I can't. There's nothing I can say to make you go back to her. Oh, go back to Ashley. No, I don't want Ashley. I don't care. Ashley was a good girl. I don't want her. See, what is the difference? See, but that's the problem with where we're at right now in this world. Everybody just feel like just like that, you could just go get a divorce. I'm talking about especially the women. That's why the divorce rate is so high for women. Just like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's why, too, you see later on those women, I guarantee it, they be having regrets when it come down to just, I want a divorce. That's why most of the divorces you see is for irreconcilable differences. It's not really for anything serious. He didn't cheat. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. It's just because they just want to go out there and have hot girl summers, go to the club with their friends, you know, have no rules that's and regulations or anything ball. like that. I mean, that's what you be seeing. Think about it. What did we Not saw from what did we saw from being what free? Did, what did we saw from Tia since she been, you know, uh divorced? You see a lot of these. You never saw no sexy pictures with Tia and Tamara. Well, now <laughs> she's for free. Life. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never in your life seen her from Tia and Tamara. Sister, <laughs> yeah. sister. Never. Now all of a sudden at what, 45, 50 years old? I don't she's know. What's she 50, on 50? But okay. Almost what well, she almost no, 50. No, she's not. What is she's she? 40 something, like 40, mid 40s. That ain't almost 50. I'm just saying, 50 year old Tia is now putting up sexy <laughs> pictures for the first time in her life. Like, come on, man. But nothing but respect to Tia, because like I said, I I love. How's she gonna sister, get a new sister, husband if she you know, ain't following like, like J Lo? If y'all, it was J Lo. J Lo ain't J -Lo. Even, can't even get a new husband. You know? <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> hey, number hey, love to J Lo too, though, man. I like, you know. What I'm hey, but then again too, I was gonna say it's kind of harder for a woman to find another man versus a man find a woman yeah, too. So course, I think, yeah. I think I yeah. that's the reason why, uh, like what you said, like oh, y'all do it, so why we can't do it? And I think the reason why because yeah, We're it's hard. The same it ain't yeah. the same. And, and on top of that, it's like what you gonna be a woman just going from guy to guy? Because most guys <laughs> is ain't gonna take you serious. They gonna they gonna play around with you, play some game with you just getting your panties and after that they're gonna be moving on to the next girl and they're gonna leave you hanging you're gonna be like oh shoot now i gotta go to the next guy so it's gonna leave you bouncing around but we can actually find the next one and she could be the one and she probably gonna stay so and because that, so, that's what that's these true. women is looking that, for anyway they're true. looking for a man to hold it down and if that man be like go to that next girl and hold it down she's gonna stay there and this you know is and this is why well, the ladies should stop playing he's games. Not. Like like stop no, playing games when it comes down games. to relationships and it's marriages men. and everything like that. No, I'm just saying when you get a good one, yeah. stick with them. Yeah. Get through it. Whatever you got to get through. Now I could see if she is saying all of these crazy things about Corey, but she really couldn't. At yeah. the end of the day, she still yeah. say when she was talking on that interview, she said, "Yeah, people don't court like I got courted from the last guy." I was. She didn't say his name. Yeah. The last guy was. Yeah. We're talking about Corey. Corey courted her before they right. got into a relationship and everything like that, yeah. you know. But she ain't getting courted no more. Those times are over. So that's what I'm saying. You give that up and you give it up for what? The grass is not greener on the other side. And she's finding it out the hard way. Yeah. And everybody trying to let her know that. But right now she got a lot of pride. So she's like, that ain't what I want. Okay, yeah. let some more years pass. Wait, and let's see where her mindset man, is at then. What I'm if just she saying. Find somebody that matches what she's looking for. But we know it's very rare. She has to That's go all I'm a saying. Lot of like we I know said, it's, it's rare. We just said. Like, 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 why like, is it so rare? There's no niggas because out there. Because you know, wait, wait. You know why it's rare? Where the niggas at? You, wait, wait. You know why it's rare? <laughs> Holly Berry, Jennifer Lopez, all Vivica the Fox. Except oh, her. No, what do you mean? Oh, none of these girls are married. What are you Jay talking about? Married to Ben Affleck, her love. No, they're engaged. They they haven't no, married, married yet. Jay right and Ben Affleck are married. When did they get they married? Get and married. married. And I'm, right, but and how long was she, she single? It took her a long time to find she was Ben with Affleck the young too. Nigga, the dancer. She was, then she but was not with married though. And no, no, no. I, I'm just saying at the so, end of the day, all of these women end up single and by themselves. <laughs> I'm not saying they don't Except get. Except I don't say that. Okay, well, J Lo just what, what a couple just, of months. Yeah, I don't know when it happened. Ago. But I'm just saying when it come down to it, we can't just say, well, it's just gonna happen. Sierra, well, it haven't happened for a lot of these women. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it yeah, is rare. Let's let's true. be. And you know why it's rare? Because when it come down to what they want. That's not out there. It's not that it ain't probably some guy that want to. Let me tell you. Know, I'm pretty you, sure it's a guy out there that may want to be with them long term yeah. and all that. But what they want is not there anymore. That's gone. So so that's yeah. what make it more difficult. You know. 
So that's what I'm saying. You know, you ladies, you, you just gotta have you the passed sauce. up on a good dude. Right. No, she don't want him. Damn. All right, we go, we go. She don't want him. <laughs> she does not want Corey. Oh my god. She got right. the sauce. Every girl don't, don't want him. One. That's what it is. They were out here. As soon as they break up, oh, she didn't want him. Yeah. She didn't want him anyway. Yeah. Every every breakup. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. We we know that don't last. <laughs> we know good well that don't last. Bro, GD, bro, I can't. Hey, bro. I can't wait to one day you. BET <laughs> Awards singing last time. I checked that was the man on these sheets. She <laughs> over there crying for her husband that took her Instagram down. <laughs> she took hey, it down this, up. She did for like two days, but yeah, her, yeah. her team was probably like, put that back yeah, up. We playing with Jeezy. Hey, do you, do, you, do you got any brothers, Emirati? <laughs> two brothers, two brothers. Okay. And I was. So look, do you I'm say the, the same thing in their relationship when they break up? You be like, oh, well, she didn't want him anyway. She didn't want your brother anyway. <laughs> you know, I, you I don't say even that. Think my brothers are even serious, to be honest. Like I think they're playing too. Yeah, but I know if it was a relationship where they well, broke up, you probably gonna say the same thing then. Oh, well, she didn't well, want him anyway. I, my brother anyway. No, I ain't gonna say I that. Bet, that's <laughs> how it is with every relationship with the breakup. I, I bet, I bet, I bet, to, I bet they be agreeing with what the same stuff with, we be well, saying. My second brother. Oh, I should bring him here when they come. He, he, you and him are the same people. I'm like, bro, go to it's send men. me how to talk to your husband videos. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> go get you a wife. <laughs> Just, uh, Why you waiting? Because he always telling me, always blaming me. Oh, you know your attitude and. Oh uh, man, he you know he's he just trying to help a little bit. That's all he's trying to do. He help be not. Hey, Amarachi's bro, keep on, keep on letting her know. <laughs> he not you married, know playing all keep the on. bitches. Don't don't even stop. Keep letting her know. <laughs> Why can men play and women not? That's oh, the problem. Okay, we ain't the same. <laughs> I get that. Uh, uh, species uh, are involved too. <laughs> yeah, don't get funny. me started today. I'm gonna teach a class to, oh, here, that right? how to get the sauce and how to get a man <laughs> oh drop the God. old one and get a new one. <laughs> oh, y'all better start. I feel sorry for them women. <laughs> 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 they gonna have a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so man. so uh go, going on to the next thing uh y'all know city girls city girls so they hey. they got an album coming oh, out bro, right? you had to say that after exactly. hey. you said you said. I, I gotta mention it for a reason <laughs> the album is called raw do you know what raw stands for raw ass hoes whores or something real real ass raw. Real, yeah. real ass horse you see so demonic real ass horse this is where the black community, yep. when it comes down to our women, this Yo, is where it's going. Hispanic yep. women talking like that. This is where, this Party is where, <laughs> no, can't Sorry, think about it though. This is where our community is going right now when it comes yeah, down to horrible. the black women. You, the black women now is being represented put me in that. by the sexy reds, the city girls, and you know, uh, uh, with the situations good like, this is, re this is what's representing the black women. Before anybody said, I wanna hear what you gotta say with how black women today mm -hmm. is being represented because really, when it comes down to all these other cultures, guess what they listening to? What they're saying, not what you saying, yeah. what they're saying. So what do you got to say about how black women is being represented today? You know what? It, it is a shame and it is horrible. Look, I'm not, you can't, I ain't, don't throw me in that category. I'm in, I got a divide in my head. You know, I'm a ba different background, but African-American, like black American women, <laughs> the way that they are like, yeah, I've seen that real ass whores. I said, why? So this is what. So this is what you're teaching your daughter to walk around that you're a real ass whore. You're pretty much calling yourself a whore, which you could be a whore, but you don't have to tell people. You know what I mean? Like that's a secret. It's not something you want to share. Yeah. And no, I think it's horrible. I think it's disgusting. And I'm like, they, they're really leading people astray. They're really <laughs> leading people to hell. You got Suki with the good coochie. You got sexy red d d with with pound town beat me down. You know it's. Now we're real ass whores. Of course y'all ain't gonna have no nigga. Come on, man. Some of them don't even, they must not even want a nigga no more. They must be like, I don't even want a man. Because that's not gonna get it. <laughs> like, I'm ghetto, but I know that ain't gonna work. You know, oh, I'm a man. real ass whore. My brother, okay. <laughs> like you said, take her down and that's it. You know, never answer again. Got a situation, baby. <laughs> so, so, so you think it's over when it come down to, you know, um, relationships and black women do you believe no, it's over it. no Paul, we're I'm, no I'm, I'm 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 asking because you see where things are going <laughs> yeah yeah no i and men is seeing this and men is looking at them as the representation because they're yeah. out there you can see them if you're following those trends then it is over <laughs> so okay if you're on I'm that kind of time real. i like yeah, that yeah real. i mean if you're on that kind of time yeah it's over but if you okay. just listening to it vibing at the club and you still on the other type of time then you got a chance but no that's over <laughs> real ass whores 
nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, how did you even? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, this is, yeah, it's ridiculous. Man. What, now, what are your thoughts, bro? I feel like this, man. You know what I'm saying? It just speaks to all the women. You know, don't do everything you hear these women talk about these city girls. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm pretty sure they not even like that. You right. feel me? A lot of these women doing this shit for, for sales, numbers, to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, like, you know how Beyonce even back then, she did a song called My Single Ladies, but she was married. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, these women are doing this shit for numbers, for the clout, for the money. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these women got to stop taking in, hearing these songs, and just doing what they talking about. Oh, I'm going to be like this. Oh, city girls, party, whatever, fucking nigga, and all that. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure behind closed doors, they're not even like, really like that. They probably... Right now, I'm sipping for some other nigga right now. Or only nigga dick. Or probably trying to get a ring. I already know they ain't acting like the way they, they talk. They you know what I'm saying? I already rings. know it's like that, huh? They said they were trying to get rings. One said, oh, I don't want to be single anymore. One said, I want to get rings. Exactly. Married. But I that's said, what I'm saying. I said, so, I said all the time, the things that women are saying is false. false. They all want to be in relationships. The they all want to be married. It's just they don't have that option and that opportunity right now with who they want to be with or married to. That's all yeah. I'm saying. My bad, bro. I just have to Yeah. That. So with, with that being said, they see all these women riding for it and they're getting these numbers. So they like, fuck it. We might as well keep riding with talking like this. You know, shit. The women fucking with it. You know, so it's like if these women stop, you know, participating in what they talking about and stop listening to their bullshit, then, hey, things might change. They might start switching up and doing I love my man. Start doing songs yeah, like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Shit might change. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about the numbers. You know, if it ain't selling, then, you know, nobody going to continue doing right, it. So. I will cater for you. Exactly. Yeah, about that. Like, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like Beyonce. You know? No, that's let what. That, that's what. To you. Let me cater to you. Baby, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This was Destiny's Child. You know? Destiny's that's Child. That's what we need to get back to. <laughs> but, but you know, look, look. You're you, you right, bro. Look. Yeah. This, this, is, this is, look. This is why I say we're at this place. This is where I believe that we're where we're at right now. This is why I think even with you being at this table with, with, with two men is important. We're at a place now where I think women got to start holding other women accountable. They got to start calling other women out. Get off of us now. I think women need to leave the men alone now because men is like, you know what? I'm out of here. If I'm not going to get it here, I'm, I'm going abroad. So men is good. Men is figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see all these videos with women talking about the men who are going and finding uh, women that are from <laughs> different countries because they like, what's going on? We yeah. losing all the men right now, right? <laughs> so women need to go to this place now where they start to hold each other accountable. Yeah. Forget all of these videos and back and forth when it comes to the men. Talk to each other. Call out these women. If men start seeing, wow, it's a, it's a it's a, a, a a long line of black women that's calling out the city girls, calling out the sukis, calling out the sexy reds, and and all those girls like that. It's a stream of women out here that's doing that. A stream of black women, strong black women that's like, nah, we want to be wives. Yeah. We want to be able to be supportive. We want to yeah. be helpmates. You know what I'm saying? That's the roles we want to play. And y'all making us look bad. This is bull crap. If we start to see women going out there and doing that, we like, okay, well, nah, this is not all all of the women. Yeah. This is not the majority of the women. This is just the ones out there that's just trying to, you know what I'm saying, get sales. You know, are the ones who really sales. like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, ones that we trying to stay away that. from. Because yeah. that woman had me killed out here. Yeah. She's trying to set me up. Because that's the yeah. one thing that a lot of us who come from the hood, we're going to think, oh, these type of women, they set you up. I'm red. good. I'm out of there. Sexy red uh, right there. I would never be alone <laughs> with that one. Never be alone with that one. Uh, Ever. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way that we yeah, thinking. So you got to, people like you, Emirachi, and others, y'all got to start standing up and saying, nah, this yeah, is we wrong. Stand. We want to be wise. Y'all showed up them signs. Men, we're I here. That's not we want to be wise. No, you know, we respect no. y'all. We love y'all. We want some no. blue collars. No. <laughs> that's what we, we need to bring this music back to the, the 90s. That's what we start. Man, think about how men, the, hey, tell me this. You know, man, we get turned on by like the, it don't take a lot for yeah. us to get turned. We just want to see that we getting respected and supportive. Mm -hmm. Think about if you saw three, four, five hundred women with signs saying we love blue collar men. You know, uh, <laughs> oh, shout out gosh. to the great man. You know what I'm saying? We want to be oh, wives. So that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we want to support <laughs> our men. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, 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 let's get these city girls out of here. Think about that. A tournament like, oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. They're, they're showing us this type, like like they, they they look at us like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We haven't saw this, not in this generation of women. Yeah, no. We didn't even know yeah, this was no. possible. Yeah. It don't take a lot to please a man. I keep that's, that's what's wrong with let me say this. That's, what, that's what's that's what's wrong. Time. That's what's wrong with where we're at right now. Paul. It don't you know why it worked back in the days? 
because it never took a lot to please a man. Yeah. But women don't give a crap about pleasing no, men no more. Not, they don't give true. a crap. That is Are we not true. in that time? Women don't care anymore. Okay. So They'll yeah. tell that you. That is not true. Not in that time. Nigga free, Elfin, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, just they the music. Care. Just listen to the music. Women That's all you got to say. Just listen to the music. Women don't care. Music is just talking good. We like to, we enjoy that. No, no. Y'all talking like that, y'all about that. Yeah, y'all, y'all go, yeah, yeah. Cause y'all, y'all know that's how y'all really want to live your lives. Exactly. That should be. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Damn. But life's great. Pussy's still good. Hey, you know everybody do that line. Anyway, so well, hey. Hey, but all I gotta say, y'all women can be like that. Only thing y'all doing is making it. The man had more fun too. I mean, <laughs> shit, now you know for that for a higher percentage for the one percent. I was going to say men who are able to go out there yeah, and do what they want to the do. But 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 then the, they but got but, plenty of more options. Yeah, yeah, but bro, but that's for them. But this is the thing. We don't care. But this is the thing though. The men and and I'm just being real. It's not even about oh poor them. No, I'm just being real. The men who are blue collar men are the ones who suffer. Men who are not in that tax bracket are the ones who suffer because they can't afford, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, go abroad. Or they can't afford, you know, that and everything. But the women you know, those are the ones who get left make out. The blue collar, when they do get to that 1%, is going to make them say, fuck a woman, man. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to treat all these women the same. Bro, the majority you know of I'm men saying? are not getting to that percent, bro. For, no, for no I'm, I know for, that, but for, I'm just trying to say for, it. Not one, I'm just not to say one, not it make a man change when he do get there. Like, not, fuck a woman. I don't even want a wife now. Yeah, now not, I wanna not 1%. I would run say through least, all of them. Not 1%. I'll say at least, <laughs> at least for real. 10 to 15%. But the majority of men, I'm putting it like this more men is not getting to that place than is. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down Wait, to those percentages about, and everything like that. Yeah. So Status. that's what, yeah, yeah, in, in that place. To be able to now now be in that place where I can say just F all women, I'm going yeah. to do this. Like this stuff costs. Yeah. Like the men who are going abroad, like they got a little bread put up and everything yeah. like that yeah. to be able yeah. to do all of those yeah. type of things. Yeah, you know? that, I'm so, saying yeah. when it does so, yeah, happen, I'm not saying every, I know it's hard for blue collar men if, to make if, it to If it happens, saying, not even when, when, because that's not happening right, for if all, it happens, but that's all I'm speaking about. Because I put it like because I put it like this. We got a lot of uncles that are in their fifties and stuff like that. And I'm just being real right now. You think they all just able to just jump up and just go abroad and just be looking for girls every day and yeah, night bro, like I'm that? I'm talking about the men no. that had that, 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 that. I'm not saying every man. Of That's course, a very, I very, that, very, I know very, small very small percentage, small, but bro. I'm just saying it make a man when he do get to that point, like, fuck a woman, just seeing how things going. Nah, like, we're already thinking about that and going abroad. See, we don't even, we, the men are already there. We ain't in that conversation. We already do what we want to do. I'm talking about the men who can't and will not ever be able to. Those yeah, men, those are the ones who there they suffer more and everything like what that. About the women yeah. But but that's all that I'm saying. Rules. What do you mean that, under a man's why, rules? I'm, that's why that's why feminism is so thriving. That's why they don't care because of the way men have treated them. That's the thing. We're we're fighting against. Look, man, you we guys. talking about something that's man. that's past tense. You wasn't even living in those times. You don't know what was going on they in that time. You said, you're just man. hearing we're stories that families. probably were not even oh, real I stories. I tell you a real story. Oh, <laughs> we don't man. have time today. Of what a men have done. No. Okay. So it ain't nothing that men no, have been do, through. They do suffer. <laughs> it ain't nothing that men have been I through. Some, but for the most part, men are the aggressors. See, we got to get women. past that conversation. It's true. We got. We got to look. Men are more aggressive than women naturally. We, we got to get man. past that and start holding each other accountable yes, each and that, other. Okay. so so that's what i'm saying when it come down to the women it shouldn't be an issue for you and i and i appreciate you saying you know what the city girls were wrong you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, like, like that's of course. i appreciate you saying that but, but that's what i'm saying we need to see more women holding each other accountable <laughs> when it come down wrong. to that because when it come down to a lot of us black men when we see this we like hey that's all the, the that's how the majority of black women feel right now Real they don't care. I'm, no, no. I'm just yeah, saying. Okay. They listening to it. Yeah. They, 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 they grind into it. <laughs> They're like, hey, I don't give a crap about a dude. This and that. So we like, oh, okay, that's what it is. So we going over here. So I'm just saying, women need to start to say, nah, that's not what we repping. Yeah. We not moving that way. Know. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Damn. I don't think it's gonna ever happen, but I'm just saying. I think that would, you know, help when well, it come who, down who? to these situations. Yeah, you know, you do you do you not know and recognize we probably the only podcast that talk against these type of things. Yeah, look, don't worry. <laughs> that, well, that's why it's called Think cancel culture because your ass about to be on TV canceled. <laughs> and like, why are these niggas still? You're right here at the table with us. What you talking about? <laughs> you know, I already know. But I'm just saying because because most because most people are not gonna say the real. Most people ain't gonna tell the truth. Yeah. Most people are gonna say, oh nah, I was bumping. I'm gonna be bumping that city girls I went to, knowing they going home. Like, man, I would never mess with no girl like that ever in my life. Knowing that they really feel like that. Oh, yeah, maybe. You think that Charlemagne 
and DJ Envy, two dudes who are married, you think that they really would be rocking with something like that? They both married. Outside of being on the platform and talking about it, do you yeah. think at home when they're yeah, who they are, they'll no, sell? of course not. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of a lot of people are going on their platforms and not telling the full truth. Yeah. We do here. That's all I'm oh, saying. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. So, hey, hey, but if anything, I think lip service should get canceled before us because they talk nasty as fuck on here. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, Why so it's like, like shit. Get so nasty? they do be talking nasty. Man, nasty. Nasty. I'll be like, damn, like, my God, I can't even listen to this with my son right here. Like, yeah. <laughs> nah, not at all. Yeah, but why not does Angela E feel like she had to get so. Is that always that's been probably, in her? I think probably no. so. No, she's you know? not. I mean, that's, that's, that's probably why, why too. Hey, hey, Angela E is a low key freak. I know she's a low key freak. She's single, right? Yeah, she's single. Get her behind closed doors, she's freaky. Who's she freaky with? Yeah, huh? Who's she freaky with? Whatever nigga she's fucking with. Yeah, I know. Never, nigga. Yeah, I, I just that, that's that's why that's why I always say I want to see how a lot of these women are moving twenty years from now when they're in, they're like fifties and sixties and stuff like that because I think a lot of the stuff that we're seeing and hearing when it come down to women like Angela Angela uh, Ye, the city girls and all of them they moving like that because they're young and we have not saw how yeah. a lot of these women are gonna turn out later who continue to move like this now we see a little bit of it when we see now. Some of them who are in their 40s, like an Ebony K. Williams that is saying, nah, y'all better straighten up because y'all don't want to be in this position (laughs) right here. You know what I'm saying? Now by yourself, trying to have a baby by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Getting inseminated and all of that. You know, because she know that she has, she probably feel I got no hope. You know, this is my only hope. That's probably what she feel. Why else would she be doing that? She has you know what I'm saying? She, but I'm just saying yeah. what she probably feels now yeah. as a 40 something year old woman. Yeah. So I'm saying like that stuff is going to catch up to you one day. Yeah. So I'm I'm like, hey, I can't wait to see how this look 20 years from now when they all are now 60 years old. You know what I'm saying? And how they feel and if they message change now. Because yeah. you know that message ain't going to stay the same when they yeah. now ain't the... The girls, they, you know, nice bodies, still got a young look and everything like that. Maybe still could attract and everything. Now they're in a place, now they 60 men ain't even looking or paying attention. Not even a 60-year-old man because they going after 40 and 30-year-old girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, you were, you already know the game. So I, that's all I'm saying. I can't wait to see what happened with this wave of, yeah. like, you know, yeah. women and everything like that. You know, we going to see, you know. We definitely right. going to see. But. Yep. Well, maybe y'all two would take one of these eligible matriarchal woman off the market <laughs> see how you are <laughs> message <laughs> see how you are <laughs> no, see, see, don't be society that's, what's wrong. that's why don't we be a man society while women. drinking juice in that's the hood message <laughs> why why are we that's gonna what I'm saying. why are we gonna take somebody off the market who moving like a city girl why they, do, they do that make any sense like a city girl that she, don't make Abby no sense K. Williams wasn't nah. moving like a city girl hey i believe what i see boat. i believe okay. what i see if you're going to show me that i'm going to believe it so i'm not Abby going to be one, i'm not a dude you can court i'm not superman i don't feel like a save you woman? or change you okay you, you are who you are so ebony k williams is, doesn't seem like a woman you could date a nice woman that is very classy and beautiful Man, still. I'm making you go. You see, see this is I'm why saying? we gonna That's get canceled. See the type of stuff you, you ask me right now. Now you want me to it, really break yeah, it down? Yeah, because I'm like, why are you acting like that? Look, she got eggs. Look. She already said she. What's <laughs> she the she problem? Got she said it like it's supposed to be cool. <laughs> look, when it come down to Ebony K. Williams, because no, I re- she is a. a yeah. I believe she's a good girl, a and good woman, beautiful. a good woman, yeah. right? I believe that wholeheartedly. In fact, I would love to do business with somebody like Ebony K. Williams uh-huh. all day because I could tell she going there and get the job done right yeah she's just too masculine for me you know what i'm saying like like i'm just saying i'm just being real and for, that's for one for two i don't want a woman who worked just as much and just as hard as i go out there and work every day i don't need to be competing with the woman who i'm sleeping with i don't want that we don't okay. gotta be competing i'm the man i'm the i want to be the main provider you get what i'm saying yeah. i don't want you out there working six seven days a week like me and then just overly masculine. You know, I want a woman who have a lot of femininity. Yeah. I just don't. Let's be real. Do you see that in Ebony K? Let's be real. Let's be I, real. I see a mature, classy, grown woman. Do Do you not? I don't let's, know. Do you not? Do you not? <laughs> let, okay. Let's. Okay. Let me ask you this. Do you not that. see? Do Ebony K Williams have a lot of masculinity? Do you see that or not? I don't Come know if on. I see masculinity though. What do you? Wow. What, by what she says, she doesn't. Why she sound like? What do you what what is masculinity to you? Let me ask you that. What is masculinity um, to you? Krishan Rockish. No, no, uh, I'm just saying, give oh, me like oh, oh, give me oh, like my. phrases and stuff like that. Oh, what is masculinity, masculinity to you? Um overpowering, uh, strong, um 
male type A dominant ambitious ambitious well uh-huh. yeah but that's a yeah. all of those things you said do you Hollywood. not see all of that in Ebony K well yeah okay that, that's all come on man let me get so I, come on be real that, that, cause it's the truth everything you named you see in Ebony K no 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 I'm just saying when it come down to I respect Ebony K Williams you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I respect her grind. In fact, remember, I agree with what she said. Yeah. Her last but statement. What about but you? I'm just saying, when it comes down to me as a man, you uh-huh. know, I am super masculine. Me, I'm a type of dude that I love a very feminine woman yeah. because I got a <laughs> lot of masculinity in me. Yeah. You get, I, and, and to be honest, when it comes down to dude like me, I even got things I got to work on. I'm so masculine. I, I, I got pride and ego at times. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like, like, like. I have a big heart, but I'm a real masculine dude. So I don't want a woman who have too much of any masculinity in them. I want straight femininity, you know? So I'm just saying that I respect women when they, when they are, you know, Ebony K Williams, how they hold it down. They work ethic and everything like that, because I know a lot of men can't even move like that. So I respect it, but that don't mean that I got to sleep with you. That don't mean that I got to, you know, become your husband and now we get married and everything. I don't mean I got to do that, you know? So I respect you, but when it come down to me, that ain't going to work. When it come down to a relationship, that's it, you know? But I don't want it to be taken the wrong way. No, I respect Abby K. Williams. 1900s because, Paul, these women, I mean, t- these women today, I don't know if you I think the music. Hold it's about now, the music. Now, now, hold on, hold on. They're not on now, that kind of time ne- like that. But, but look, now, I never said that. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if I'm with a woman yeah, who works and course, stuff like that. Course. and handle. you're not saying Yeah, that. I'm not saying. I'm so saying. Let's, let's, let's make sure that people yeah. don't hear this and be like, oh, yeah, he's a 1900s guy. <laughs> he want her to be <laughs> cooking, cleaning, doing nothing. You see what I'm saying? Because that's no, how you any girl, across Any girl right that's now. been with me would tell you, Paula, go in there and whoop up something itself and cook for us and wash the dishes and all. I'll do all that myself because I move a lot. Yeah. So I I don't I'm not saying that I want a woman who just do all of that you know what I'm saying and, and I don't do none of it I'm just saying when it's for me the main thing is the I cannot stand being in a relationship with a woman who have a lot of masculinity I, it's I can't yeah. for me it's a it's a strong heavy turn off it, it's oh, a it's okay. a heavy turn off for me that's all I'm saying so nothing against it but so it just don't, don't really work want for me like a hardworking woman are you no. the same way. I, I, I don't I don't want a woman who put that first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you hard working, but that's like, you know, your kids, your husband, your yeah. household, your family, all of that stuff is before it. And then that come after all of that. OK, that may work out because that ain't your focus. It's just, OK, I got time. So I'm going to do that. I'm fine with that. Mm. But if you put that first, let's be real. Ebony K. Williams, that's one or yeah, two no, I know. most important and that, and there's nothing things wrong in our with life. That, it's like, nothing. No, no. See, yeah. that's not. I don't want to keep going back to something. Yeah. There's nothing wrong yeah. with it. I'm just saying it doesn't work for me. Right. You know? Okay. I want a woman who she like, my husband and my kids is going to be first above everything. Yeah. Work is only there if I could do it and and, and um, <laughs> if I need to help the household. Yeah. When it comes down to my husband may need me to work two, three, two three, three days out the week. You know what I'm saying? To make sure we good. Work is there just for that, those type of things. Oh, you man. know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's not something that is gonna be a main thing in, in my world. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I, I career first, that ain't gonna work for me mm. when it comes down to a woman in my world. So that's okay. all I'm saying. Y'all heard it from Paul. Are you what I you tell the truth about that. that. Next topic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? I, I tell I tell <laughs> I tell the truth about that. And look, I said right. it because you asked me. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, so because I'm trying to figure out, but yeah. See, and that's what, topic, and that's what I'm saying. See, you and your question, you go. She, she gonna get, she gonna no, get me in trouble. No, no. But I'm at least to I'm find being real. Wife, but you over here. No, talking no I don't. Crazy. I don't. I don't need no. I don't need no help. You trust know, me I'm with that. Trust person. me with that. Don't need no <laughs> help when it comes down to that. Oh my no. god, that's what y'all need. Uh, wow. I, 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 I keep that life See? Qu- quiet on low because it ain't nobody's business. But I don't need no help with it. Oh man. All right, let's go to the next. You know, before we go into the next topic, let's read what they saying up in the chat really quick, and then we'll go to this topic and everything let's like go. that. Let's you go, know? chat, chat, uh, chat. I was over here looking at the topics like, man, uh, man, uh, uh, the women been on a roll out there now. <laughs> the last, the last couple, of, we we got a uh, we got now Jada Pickett coming up. Oh, like, you see, you already you know, know where I'm going. Oh, bro, did you, you oh, you talking about with I'm the going. separation, huh? Between how I she said that, that with her Chris Will. Rock. And Chris, when Chris Rock no. tried to ax her out, you know, oh, and everything. Yeah. Like oh, that. I thought you was talking about, about her saying she's not been with Will. Yeah, she ain't been with Will Smith for seven yeah, years. She yeah, she said that, but in the same interview, she talked about oh. the time Chris Rock tried to hit on her because oh. he heard they was getting a divorce, 
and she that's why basically called Chris Rock out. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. It's like, oh, why are you always starting stuff, though? Jada, she, like, what she, you doing? Hey, you know what everybody talking about? They're like, we ain't even heard nothing from Will. But we just hear all this Jada talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, but nothing from Will. Will chilling. Will, Will, Will just trying to just chill back. He just want peace. But you she know, ain't giving him peace. You know that, hey, that, I mean, <laughs> talking, no, no, we know she ain't giving him no yeah. peace. We see what's going yeah, right. on. It's Courtney Helsey. <laughs> Today is again one about cancel culture show, but but why? Now that that's, that's the, the t- name that's the of the t- new show. <laughs> that's the name well, of the let's show. Let's tell why it's called the cancel show. No, well we, oh, we well, go oh, go to episode okay. one and look at the beginning. You'll see it all. You know, exactly. but but she she basically just saying. Why is the the topic the cancel oh, yeah. culture show? Probably so. I'm pretty You're right. I don't know. You mu- this person must have wrote this at the beginning, you know, before seeing the whole show. But um, appreciate the uh, comment it's though. Definitely we're appreciate the comment. To get canceled, not get canceled. No, we definitely not try to I get know. canceled. <laughs> Sherry <laughs> Helen, rest in power, Quincy. <laughs> you thought your legacy would be in the NBA or MLB? Yeah. Right, shout out to shout out to Quincy Reese Junior and Quincy Reese Senior. Definitely. Appreciate the comment. Appreciate the comment. I I, I know what's his name ain't wrote today, huh? Oh. <laughs> I, I don't God. know. I didn't even look. He didn't? Oh God. <laughs> Why are you saying that? You hate no more? Juliet Hanna. It was who you were as a person in the Crenshaw District. God bless you and job well done, young man. It's oh, talking about Quincy, Quincy Reese. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate Aww. the uh, comment, Juliet. Again, shout out to Quincy Reese, man. Definitely, definitely. All right, all right. Who we got next in the chat? Who we got Every next time in the chat? I come around, you got to bring. Helen Roy, why hasn't Vlad publicly sent his prayers uh, to the to Palestinian Palestine. people? Oh, and his message. What instead he, of talking he, about he, Drake and DJ Khaled, I, I mean, I, he should be. At, when yeah. he, now exactly. mentioning that, now mentioning that, when I was looking at his message and everything, I didn't see that up in there. So I mean, hey, yeah. that's that's that's, that's a good point, Helen. Really good point. Definitely, didn't even think about that part of it, but really good point. Yeah. I mean, it, it shows where the focus is. <laughs> it shows where his focus is. That's yeah. why I said, what did I say? They just want to. I get said he focused on a hey, uh, the blogs yeah. is gonna the no, blogs is gonna really. You know, pick this up and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So they do anything for clout. Hey, we got somebody. There we go. Every time hey. we get a new person, gotta give them a shout out. aw 360 yo Damn, I swear it just said that y'all had 540 viewers. What happened? Goes up and down. That's the way it goes everywhere. Yeah. Shit, everybody uh, watching, go in and out. Exactly. Watching. Yeah, you know, yeah. well, people you be at work sometimes. Yeah, like, people be at work. People be driving. I never, be, look, and yeah. I never know what the heck is going on with the viewers. So that was the first time I've ever even heard that or saw it or whatever. I don't know what the, I mean. But you know how it is. And when anybody goes live, it goes up and down because yeah. people be in and out. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But that was the first. <laughs> yeah. Damian Furman. I don't care for a Drake and DJ Khaled opinion when it comes to world events, LOL. I don't yeah. know why people do this when it exactly. comes to celebrities. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. Half of these celebrities are dumb. Low IQ. You ain't lying. IQ. Exactly. Like, they be like Drake won't know what to say. You see what I'm saying? Uh, he, he gonna just probably, he gonna probably just try to get knowledge. at all the girls out there. He gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You know, I don't know what to guy. say to the man, but I know how to talk to the girls. I mean, what do y'all want me to do? <laughs> she already know. Exactly. You ain't thinking about none of that. Gemma Disforgus, Vlad just wants to be covering Khaled and Drake saying something about it. He needs content. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. a possibility. Yeah, he's running out of content I mean, that, right that's, now. So he's like, I mean, shit, let me talk about Drake yeah. and Khaled. But it's, you know, we got to, right now, Vlad, got to, Vlad is really, his, his platform is really hot right now. Yeah, it is hot. You know, so, uh, you know, he knew it was going to go viral, especially mentioning yeah. Drake. Man. So. He seen what happened to uh, Joe Budden. So he's like, damn, <laughs> let me talk about Drake too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Scoring the healthy. What information am I supposed to be getting from Drake Khaled right now? Come on, Vlad. Right. <laughs> like I mean, that's what? a fact. That's what that's what we yeah. talking about. Like you know, what? um, the main the main point of bringing you know this topic up is um, everyday pe- people got to stop you know looking at celebrities as the end all be all with getting information. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can't. You know, let me go learn business. So let me go over there and look at what uh. Uh, Key Chief is talking about right now. I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Our Kodak know. Black. Yeah. I know. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, like we got, we got to stop this. Ooh, Come yeah. on, man. Damian Furler went to school with his dad. 
Want to send my condolences to his family. Rest in peace. Aww. Oh, okay. Man, shout out to you, Damien. You know, yeah. uh yeah. It's funny. Yeah. Our, our mom went to Crenshaw High too, yeah. you know. So oh, okay. we know a lot of Crenshaw people who went to Crenshaw High yeah. and everything. Big you went to Crenshaw High. Yeah, a lot of oh, Crenshaw man. High alumni. Yeah. You know, so shout out to you, Damien. Definitely. Shout out to you, man. For real, for real. Damien, you know, Damien be here a lot too, so you know, you you just noticed him last week, week but yeah. he's been he here been, in the past too. Oh, good. Definitely. You know, appreciate that, Damien. Albert Canem, rest easy, young man. So sad that you can't even have fun with your teammates oh, and things yeah. go left. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 was uh very sad, man, to know that, you know, you know, um he went out with his teammates and that happened and um another thing that said, I don't know if y'all saw the interview yet, but it was one part where Quincy was talking about you know, um, one of the teammates, like when the ambulance and stuff was outside and he was pulling up to pick up Quincy, one of the teammates who Quincy went there with, you know, came outside. He already knew what happened, but mm -hmm. the pops didn't know what happened. So he was asking him, like, hey, Chris, you want to ride? We'll, you know, we'll yeah. give you a ride home. But Chris didn't say nothing. And he just, you know, just walked away, you know? And, wow. and yeah, he didn't want to tell Quincy's dad that his son had just been killed. Why? He didn't is, what tell kind him of that. friend is that? You know? That's some you fake. Get what I'm saying? No, you know, uh, so later kids. on, Ew, so no. so later, no. so so later on, Chris's dad called Quincy and told him what happened because Chris didn't want to tell him. So you just gonna uh, no? That's not right. It's, it's sad. That's it's sad, not right. Man. The Q salute. Oh, hey, salute, man. Salute. Q in the building, salute. man. Salute, salute. salute. Number love, salute. man. Number love over here. You know, Sheesh. straight up. Straight up, number love. Hey, he did a salute. How come his definitely, emoji popped definitely. up, but nobody else emoji popped up? <laughs> That's crazy. Salute. That's favorite, man. Another, another yeah. shout out, man. For you, man. Thank you for your service. On, Appreciate man. it. Salute. Appreciate it. Service. What service are you talking about? Salute, bro. So salute. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you never know what the bro ever gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> Number love though, man. Number love, man. You know, hey, right. and, and and you know, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, we definitely can't wait to have you back too. You know, maybe one day we can have Q at the table, you know, chopping yeah, it up, yeah. whatever, you know, join us and everything. So right. that would be dope, man. You know, uh y'all ready to uh, uh knock out it do do we got any more um because if we got new ones, I want to make sure we give them an opportunity to read those ones. Okay. The the ones who uh have been here in the past, um, you know, uh if we already read something, we good. If it's anybody new that has wrote something, uh, you could go on and put that up too, uh, Francis. So uh, we could read that out. I want people to know, hey, we read out everything. So if you come here and write something, we're going to read it. Rosa Shelley. It was given to the Jews after World War II from the U.S. The Palestinians were already there. I mean, you're right. You know, Rosa Shelley. But one thing I can say about you, Rosa Shelley, see, you know your history. You know, like. Drake and DJ Khaled could never say yeah, what you just said. Know. Never. <laughs> they probably would be reading that like, huh, what was World War II? You know, like, I'm not trying to get it. I'm just saying. They they not yeah. paying attention to that. You know, they've yeah. been celebrities how, for how long, you know? But, um, you know, uh, appreciate you, you know, kind of uh, breaking biblical. it down. Yeah, we you can't know, break everything. it down. It's, we have to break it down in the spiritual. Yeah. A lot of it is very biblical. Yeah, and that's what people don't understand yeah. a lot it's, of what's going on right now. Yeah, you know, it's very it. biblical. Yeah. We're in Revelation. Look, yeah. we're in the end times. Now, this is the only thing I say when it comes down to the end times. The end times could be 100 years from now because yeah. God say one day is like a, a, a thousand year, years, a thousand years to him. One day. You get what I'm saying? So the end time could be 100 years from now, but I do feel like we're in the end times because when you read mm -hmm. Revelation and Romans and, yep. and, 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 you know, books in the Bible like that, everything that's going on right now, it talks about it. Yep. Yeah. You know, we sat here and read yep. a scripture that we everything yeah, that well, we're seeing right. here I'm is like, what's going on today. in that scripture. <laughs> <laughs> that's Crazy. That's, that's the right world now. we're in right now. Yep. Uh, Christine Silva, uh, what about cancel culture show? Um, Can we speak our mind? Yeah, if, speak if, the if truth. Mind, yeah. yeah, and I'll put it like this. Think, think about yeah, it like this, Christine Silva. Go look at all the individuals, people, you know, shows and all that when they say uh, this person is getting canceled. It's because they're not able to speak freely. You know, yeah. think about what just happened to Neo. Yeah. Neo, they talked about cancel Neo because he said, I wouldn't let my, my, my son choose rather if he wanted to be a man or a woman, he's going to be what he yeah, is, you know, yeah. as long as he's in my household. 
that's why we have a show like this to say, hey, we're going to speak freely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this stuff that we say anyways, I'm sorry, but it, it, it may be old fashioned or biblical, but it's the right yeah. way to live. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, it's I'm it's what's real. We're going to speak. Yeah. Exactly. Truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're okay <laughs> with hearing the truth, then hey, then this is going to be back. a platform right. that you want to <laughs> come back to. Come you know, back. but we're going to stand on what it is. We ain't going to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For to oh, we want to be a part of the media like some of these other platforms. Yeah. No, 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 no. Anybody who rock with us is gonna know how we rock. That's well, it. Well, well, we say we you might know? have you shedding tears. You never know. Shit, we keep it real over here. <laughs> hey, it it, ha it happens. You know that's yeah. why too we get the real interviews. Uh -huh. You know the yeah. people that we bring on here. You know yeah. they, You yeah. know it's it's, it's real. It's you real. know so exactly. uh, you know that's that's tears. what this platform is all about. You know so uh, all right. Did, did we get all, all the new individuals? We got, okay, cool, cool. And anybody who been coming on, if we didn't read it, I promise we'll get y'all next time. Yeah. We're just trying to, you know, keep it rolling, get through this last topic. I'm going to send you a rose. Um, I, I, I did, I did want to, excuse me, a rose. Spider rose. <laughs> you funny. See? We're going we gonna to jump on this Jada Piggy thing really quick. I did want to yeah. get into, I, maybe we could jump on that next time because she just was found guilty. And um, I do want to touch on it. Do y'all know about the Carly Russell situation? The um yes. the, oh, yeah the they they even she they even did like a move they even did like a movie about the situation right already yeah yeah it's or something like that no, yeah it's, it's coming out yet. not yet though right okay but yeah uh this is a um lady who uh lied about being abducted um over for, a nigga. for years uh, over a guy and everything like that you know uh, hey she was a part That's of it what too I'm trying to say you know uh, but um <laughs> she ended up you know coming out and coming clean and yeah. saying what happened and she got found guilty and she's gonna serve a year right up to they're trying to get up her to a year. year they haven't sentenced her yeah yet. yeah so uh we're not really gonna go into detail about it right now i just wanted to you that know, is a horrible photo. If Please you don't, don't if you do don't, a black woman like this. Those were the photos. No, well, that one needs to be taken Look up Carly Russell though. right now. That's what you're going to see. That's see what that's she, what I, and she walked you, out the house looking like that, and hey, she got to expect wait, the photo like that to happen. I, I mean, you, point I blank, period. Use pictures like this on the bottom. Look, that's what they do to black You got a home to get dressed, take a shower, do your makeup before you leave. It's always So, point blank, period. She walked out the house like that. women accountable. Hold up. You know, well, you know what Why she should have said. Why is Carly Russell said? coming out like that? She exactly. Say that. You blaming a lot of media. women be doing that shit too, lady. They come out with their pajamas else. on, their little slippers <laughs> on. I see that all the time with black women. So I'm just trying to say. I mean, she came wow. out like that. We hey, she got to expect the picture to be wow. taken. That's all I got to say. Not holding women be, accountable. We be dressed every time we come outside, but she. That, you yeah, you got to be dressed for a woman. I think so. But but why? But why? But why you not, Carly? Why you come out like that? Why you not doing that? Why you exactly. not saying, look at that. Why you not looking at that and say, Carly, why you come out like that? Exactly. Why you not saying that? What's wrong with saying that? Why she ain't put her I'm just, I'm just asking. Oh, come on, come on, okay, please. Whatever. Why not say that, right. though? I was just saying we could have been nicer and used a better photo. That's all I was saying. Whatever. If you if you look up Carly right now, you go to images, you're going to see a lot of those photos. That's all. That's I, that's honestly, I wasn't thinking about that. But as a woman, I guess you're thinking about it. So yeah. you should blame her. You should blame her for okay. having... To, for coming outside like that she went to court like that being filmed she was filmed like that going to court yeah all right. come on get on her <laughs> get on her that's all i'm saying all right. see how hard it is though for girls to hold each other accountable yeah. you see how hard it is hard it's hard it's but hard for y'all man it's hard, hard but it's reality it's reality too like y'all you come out it's you so you hard. see this i mean come on you acting like you're not outside <laughs> yeah I see this all the time. Yeah, I can walk. Yeah. I can walk down Crenshaw Boulevard or go to Baldwin Hills Mall, and I'm gonna see girls with pajamas on. Yeah, all the, you know what I'm saying. I all see that the all the time. time. Pajamas yeah. on, their hair ain't even done. It's just all wrapped up, and they <laughs> bro. with a, just a yeah with a tank bro. top on. I mean, come on. Don't go to the mall during Christmas. Oh in nah, the hell no. Nah. You gonna see a go. whole bunch of yes. girls in pajamas <laughs> with their like friends that. and exactly. everything, like they having exactly. a pajama jam every day during exactly. the holiday. I'm like, what are these girls wait, doing? Wait, wait, like, you like coming out looking it. like no, that? Like, that this is a pajama is, jam or something? Just is because that? we close to the holidays. If you come out the like, house like, like that, you gotta on. expect that to happen. Look, you gotta hold yourself wow, accountable. This is crazy. Yep. Coming with the little things, the bands, what is, what is look, you know, they be having on That's why we always say your first impression is your last impression. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everywhere you go, every time you leave the house, you gotta make sure you dress to impress. If not, then you got to expect if a photo like this come out, then, hey, don't blame it everybody is. else. It is. Say, Carly, you should have did yourself. better. Just exactly. say that. Just say you should have did better. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Blame That's it on right. her. And you, the woman in because distress. she's the one who's dressed in. Oh, now. Okay, oh, so somebody else God. made her wear that. Exactly. Wow. Okay, somebody else made her wear that, bro. It's the, somebody else made it. In, fa in fact, you know while what? While she's facing in prison in time, in fact, In fact, you know what? A black man made her wear that. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? You know? Some, some, some nigga made her wear that. 
wear that because she didn't you know? want him. She didn't want him, yeah, so she yeah. came Some out. Some name like that. that she didn't want me to wear that. <laughs> so yeah, see, That's, yeah she I'm just saying. That, I'm just saying. The nigga she wanted made her got her in this situation. Oh, That's now she wanted. Oh, now that was a girl that wanted a nigga, huh? Yeah, oh, she lied because he was trying that. to break up with her. Okay. Now uh, she wants him. I'm oh, just to tell y'all. Now I'm she wants him. Hey, black, hey, black man, see what we gotta go through, man. Women is delusional. Hey, 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 hey. They confused. Hey, this is why I say, hey, you gotta go abroad, go abroad. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? See, see, see what we get. See what we got to go <laughs> through. You know what I'm saying? See, All we saying is, hey, take a little bit of accountability. Not even when you dress your own self, you ain't going to take accountability for it. She don't That's want crazy. that nigga. She you don't can't. want him. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Hey, Marcia, I'm about to tease you with that every time. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> she don't want that nigga. Like just that. like, hey, just like sometimes when I be making the thumbnail, I mean, Rachi, get on me. I'm like, you don't, you don't make it the faces. Why? How you going to get on me for what I put on the thumbnail? I'm just trying to look. I'm looking hard, too. She did. Say that the other day though, she was tripping I, on that. She yeah, was like, I don't like my picture. Like, look, look, I be looking picture. hard. I, bro, I promise, I be no, like, you, you don't need to look that go. hard. Exactly. Don't play with me. I promise. I'm, how about no, this? No, we use the no, same no, words. Only because you really picky. No, only yeah. because you really picky. That's why I'm saying I'm looking hard. Look, me, you don't like nothing. That's why sometimes I be sitting there, Emirati, tell me, do you like this one? Do you like this one right here? Cause oh, I know you gonna blame me. I'm gonna be the him. one. Man, I got the hiccups now. Like, man, hey, this is what we gonna do with Emirati. We just gonna use the the same photo. We just gonna no, have to take a picture <laughs> every time. This is the same. Photo. About that. We gonna. Hey, it's gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna, gonna be two thousand. It, hey, it's gonna be two. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be two thousand. <laughs> Hey, bro, it's going to be 2030. We're going to be using a photo of Russia <laughs> from 2000. You know no, what we're going to do, bro? Right. We're going we're gonna to go to Photoshop and change the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get the same face and just change the clothes. Cool, because uh, she liked the facial expression, so we're going to keep that right there. Oh, you know? And then we change the wig for her and everything. We change exactly. another wig. And it sounds cool because she liked the facial expression, so cool. We'll oh, rock with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Women are picky, and y'all did her dirty with that uh, picture. I did, hold up. Now we did her dirty? See what I said? Bro, let's go. Oh, you about to, Here okay. we go. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go tonight. You know, we'll we'll keep it short and to the point. Yeah. So Jada Pickett says Chris Rock asked her out after it was rumors that her and Will Smith split um, during the time they was thinking about a divorce. So uh, what she basically said is he called me and basically he was like, "I love to take you out," and I was like, "What do you mean?" Jada Pickett tells people jada pickett hasn't spoken to chris rock since the oscar incident but she hopes everyone involved can find peace the actress whose book worthy is out october 17th tells people in a candid new interview that no i haven't talked to chris since the march 27 2022 when her husband will smith struck him on stage at the oscars after taking issue with a joke made about jada do i have any desire to talk to chris Here's my desire. I just hope that all the misunderstanding around this can be cleared up and that there can be peace, she adds. Um, I'm going to leave it there, but you was also, we was also talking about how um, she mentioned her and Will Smith was not They've been separated together. They've since been separated 2016. for a while. And that was too much information for her to reveal. Yeah, I'm just keeping it. She's revealing Jada, a lot of stuff yeah, right Jada now. Yeah, Jada Pinkett, something, I don't know why she's, now that's masculine energy if you really want to, you know, talk about a woman giving masculine energy. First, she cheated on Will, even though he's been cheating on her. Cheated on him with August Alcina. It came out. You talked about it. You had your husband come on there, talk about the affair you had. You had your husband go on stage and slap a nigga, only to tell us y'all was separated the whole time. Like, that is some all fucked up shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. he's, it's kind of embarrassing for Will. I mean, I think Will's a nice guy, you know? So it's like, Jada, why are you exposing yourself like this? But, Hey, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hey, the, I, the what too what much more information. can you say about Jada yeah. Pickett, man? We've been seeing this for so long. What you got to say, well, bro, I about think Jada, Jada Pickett? She's she like she just, she just <laughs> trying to yeah. hurt and get on Will Smith nerves, bro. Like, she's just doing too much because I ain't going to lie. I, 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 that could be Cap. I don't even think Chris Rock probably tried to get at her. Or she probably thought Chris Rock was try to, probably trying to get at her back then or something like that. But it's like... I, you know, I don't know. I think she just she's in her own mind right now. You know what I'm saying? Because she got to prove that. You feel me? If Chris Rock ain't said nothing about, it, nobody never heard about this. I mean, y'all both they, these are two big celebrities, a list celebrities. So I mean, nobody don't know about this, but she's gonna come out the blue and say this. Yeah. You know that sounds weird to me. So I don't even believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. just, I think she's just trying to fuck with Will Smith right now, bro. She need to leave that man alone. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey, if Will Smith's still around her and he's still married to her, then hey, you know what I'm saying? I <laughs> guess whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> man. But yeah, fuck it. I mean, I, I it, it's sad, man, because, you know, if you really think about it, man, we grew up on Jada Pickett. Like, yeah. like I know a lot of us, we think about it, especially in our age group, you know, like, uh, you know, maybe uh, late 20s to 30s to going to the 40s, mm-hmm. early 40s. Like, we grew up on Jada Pickett. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you really think about it, you know, and, you know, set it off. Mm-hmm. You know, like, we could go down the line with Jada, man. You know, like, she was on a lot of great movies and everything. And um, just to see, like, how she really is in person by the stuff that we've heard her say and the stuff that we saw she her do the will and everything like that. I believe she's damaged her image. And I don't think it's no turning back. I don't think people will ever see Jada differently than the way they see her now when it come down to what we see out of her relationship with Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. Like everybody straight up believe and know that Will Smith did that because of the energy she was giving him almost like Hey, you gonna do something about that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, and then a lot of stuff that she didn't put out there since she been in a relationship. Like, look at what the stuff she talking about. She put out all of this information and stuff that well, it's like, what are you doing? Why are you telling people that? Yeah, you know, and everything. And you know, like, like this has been going on for a long time. You know, and, and and to be honest, look, I don't know what they go through personally, but. Maybe Jada Pickett won't will to go and try to get yeah. a divorce because maybe she knows. Hey, but I'll she get said paid. They never, yeah. They're never getting. A divorce. I don't think they, they got. Both a, said that. I know, but look, I don't think they got a prenup. They probably don't. You know what I'm saying? So, so will probably. Hey, it's cheaper to keep her. That's what will yeah. probably think. As long as yeah. I get to do my thing and you stay yeah. out of my way, cool. Yeah. But Jada Pickett, like, as long as I get to say what I want to say, how I want to say yeah. it, then hey, we cool. Yeah. And that's what be, she's doing. Yeah. That's why you see what if they cancel the Red Table Talk. They canceled that show. When did they cancel that? This was like a, it came out uh, uh, some months ago. We, I don't know why we didn't talk about it here, but this was like some months ago. They was talking about like three, four months ago, but uh, that, the, um, the, the network canceled that show. Oh damn. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah. They canceled that. Like, nah, we good on this. You know what I'm saying? After a lot of this stuff was coming out, they didn't want to deal with that anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like Jada Pickett just, she's in a position and place where she's just ruining stuff. Now she's writing a tell all book. You know, know. you know what direction you go in after nobody hiring, after nobody hire you. Yeah. A memoir. After (laughs) nobody hire you, you don't get movies no more. Yeah. Nobody want to deal with you. What's the next step people always go to? Writing a book. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? People that, that are in a celebrity world. Yeah. They, that's almost like that last stage that they take. You know, when yeah. it's like everything else is out there. So, hey, I might as well write a book and tell people everything. And that's what she's going to do. And to me, after that, I think it's really over. It's completely over. She'll never pr- probably even act again. No. You know, except on really short films. Not, not on yeah. no big motion pictures. Yeah. On short films. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And things like that. But, uh... It's just sad, man. See, you know, because we all love Jada Pickett. We, I'm not saying that we still don't, but we just see her differently. You know, that's it. We don't see that same set it off. That set it off, Jada Pickett. That was in my mind. That's gone. That set it off. <laughs> Think about it. it. Again. Set it, it off, Jada re- Pickett. Re- that's gone, man. No, just watch it again. It'll reignite <laughs> for a quick moment. <laughs> you be like, it's gonna she be, is bad. Yeah, it's though. gonna be like smoking <laughs> weed right after that high go away. My mind is back to where is that? You know, when it come down that's to that. Weird. So, I mean, yeah. but no matter what, man, uh, shout out, man. Hopefully, Will is straight. You know, uh, I know He's everybody straight. got on Will He's for a minute. Come you on, know? man. Stop it. This nigga been on hey, yachts hey. I'm, I'm Saint looking Saint out. With, yeah, yeah. with Brazilian you models. You sit here and get on men all the time. I mean, he been It's okay to sit here and say, hey, man. Yeah, yeah. He need to be cheap. Now he need to be cheap. He do. No, no. He if, that, if, a pass. if that's the way that they're living, you know, you yeah. saw her affair came out with August, August Alicino. So yes, Will should be out there. Man, now for real. If you're gonna be real, they, they should. If they're gonna do that, they should get a divorce no, though. No, like I don't know why you yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all doing it like that. But emotions. yeah, yeah. But I mean, it is what Man, it is. That's argument. something that they got to answer to yeah. God about. That's yeah. between them two and God. Yep, but if, but hey, if that's the way they living, yeah. I hope hopefully Will got his mind right. That's it though. But uh, <laughs> last so, word. Oh, you guys. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Next right. time. <laughs> Next time. Yeah, Rashi, I'm trying to hurry to get out of here. He's like, Next time, uh, no, I got no more words. <laughs> Until we uh-huh. to hurry up. Last words. Any last words. All right, bro? thank you everybody for watching. You know, uh, shout out to Quincy. You feel me? Uh, yep. Instagram, JY want yeah. more. Uh, you know what I'm saying, and um, yeah, man. Next show is gonna be turned up. We got hey. you know Crip Mac coming through, so uh, 
Yeah, let me. Hey, you oh. know, hey, shout out to what's the name of this company, yeah. bro? Roses. 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 Roses forever. Like diamonds are forever. We got roses are forever too. Oh, exactly. sure. So fun. shout out to the roses, baby. All okay, right. well, before Paul said bye, I want to say bye. Yep, I want to tag myself at Amarachio Demo Official. And until I see you again, stay up and stay well and buy me some roses because that's my favorite thing. Buy you some roses. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite thing. Okay. Oh, bye. <laughs> hey, again, shout out to Rose Forever. Man, they show nothing but love sending us this right here. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. Hey, it's all about the ones. Who, if they rock with you, rocking with me, <laughs> we rocking with them. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that would happen. Now you see you over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, they rock hey, they rocking with the Nothing to Sun podcast. We rocking with them. You know what I'm saying? So again, shout out to Rose Forever. Hey, it's your boy Paul P. Amarachi. JY, you got Francis in the back. We love you all. We out of here. Deuces. I gave up and stopped believing. The world around me started crashing. I didn't sleep the living. But God gave me a reason. Man, I had to fight for it. And then I started cheating. I had to show them that I was a man.